AccuStats Video Production presents World Class Nine Ball. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Varner, and uh, with me tonight is our special guest, Howard Vickery. Hello, Howard. Hello, Nick. How are you doing this evening? It's uh, great to have you uh, with us tonight, Howard. Uh, this is quite a history-shaking event here in uh, Chesapeake at the Chesapeake Convention Center, the inaugural Masters uh, Championship. Yes, it is. It's, it's uh, going to be turning into a great tournament, I think. Okay, we've got a great match tonight. There's Jimmy Rempe, and uh, he is, uh, what a career he's had. It's been just absolutely uh, marvelous, and I think that is uh, showing up where I see Jimmy's on the uh, Hall of Fame uh, nominations this year, and I wish Jimmy good luck because he's definitely uh, deserving. And uh, his opponent tonight is a tough cookie. It's uh, George Sansusi, and uh, he's uh, really been playing great pool for several years now. Uh, he uh, won the inaugural uh, BCA Nine Ball Championship in Las Vegas, and uh, then he finished second last year. So that's been a good tournament for him so far, Howard. Yes, it has. Uh, he's been playing well. He uh, has won several big tournaments around. And he's lagging now. This should be a dynamite uh, match here. Uh, who do you think is going to win, Howard? Well, I'm going to tell you something. This is very close. Uh, I don't know... Uh, which one of these guys is playing the best, but they're both certainly capable of, of winning, and either one could dominate. But I think it's going to be a close match, and it's going to come right down to the end of it. Well, Jimmy said he's been playing a little bit. He said he just uh, won three of those tournaments up in his part of the country, and uh, I think he said he finished second or third in the other one, so he must be playing, and he must be playing pretty good. Must be. It, it's going to be a good match, I tell you. Well, it looked like Jimmy's won the leg, and he's going to get the first chance to break the ball. So let's see uh, see what happens here. This is going to be an exciting match to watch. Uh, just two really great pool players. And you notice they're not using the break box this time. And uh, you might see that corner ball going a lot. Yeah, you like that, Howard? No, I don't. I like uh, – I, I think it just makes the break uh, too much – too big a part of the game. Corner ball just goes too easy, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now Jimmy's come up dry, and he, he's left him uh, a thin cut on the one. Uh, what I like here, Howard, is spinning up uh, two rails. I like uh, spinning the cue ball and coming short of the side and then mm -hmm. coming across toward this rail. Yeah, drawing three. that ball. I like drawing that ball, Do you too. like that? Or? Mm -hmm. I like that shot. I, I don't see. He doesn't have a lot of choices here, does he? No, it's going around, uh, spinning around the corner following like is no good on this shot. He hit it just like he drew it out there. Well, I'm going to come up behind that three a little bit. But he's right on the money here. Just hit that ball and come up the rail. Shoot the three down in the other corner. Now, it looks like to me what he's going to have to do is end up after he plays the two is end up with the, right. the cue ball in this area where when he plays the three in this pocket, he can come over here and play the four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needs to get a little angle. If he falls straight in, he looks like uh, he could get in trouble here, and uh, he's got to bear down. This is uh, he might come underneath of it. Mm -hmm. No, he's going up, but straight in here is not real good. No, that's uh, he's a little out of line here. Does that four go by the six? You think maybe it does because he doesn't uh, seem too concerned uh, from where we're sitting. It doesn't look like the four cleared to six or nine, but no. uh, he looks like it uh, maybe slips by that six nine. Well, if 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 he if he can, he might shoot it like that. If not, he. I believe you might try that four, six, nine combo. Although it's it's close together, it's not exactly lined up, but it is close to, together, and the nine's close to the rail. Looks like to me he needs to go almost all the way to the end rail here. Yep. So, oh, he cheated the pocket a little bit and got got off the rail. I don't nice shot. Know. Uh, he's but, going to have. This looks like a tough one to have to force with a hard speed to get over that side rail. Yes, he if can. He, hits it that hard, it's real easy for that but four can, to clip the nine. He can also play safe, uh, put the cue ball behind the six, just just shoot the four over here, or yeah, the four over here and leave the cue ball right there. Yeah, that's a pretty effective shot. Yeah, if, if he's straight in and he can't <coughs> get on that five. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty effective safety there. I think that's what he's going to play. Uh -huh. You called it, Howard. You're right yeah. on the button tonight. Yeah, he was. I uh, saw him looking at the way he was pulling back his cue. Looked like he was going to shoot it for a minute, but <coughs> he lined it up. Well, Jimmy's got to kick. Uh, well, how can he kick at this ball? 
You know well, what I like I here? I think I would pl Oh, go ahead. Show me what go you ahead. like, Howard. I like going this way. Because you got a can chance to kick that two up the rail and the keep all down there. Now he's going to go one rail, but I think he got a chance no, to No, I think like he's going to go two rails. I think he's going to go here, here, and back yeah. out. But maybe you're right. He's... No, he's going the way you're telling. No, he didn't scratch, but I really like that angle coming down between those balls and kicking it back up like that. You know, he's actually maybe come out pretty... Oh, no, <coughs> he can play this ball on the side. Uh, yeah, he can. He can make it in the corner. He's got room yeah, yeah but it's hard to get shape. He's That's true. almost straight in. It's hard for him to get over for an angle on that five. Uh, he can go forward, but pretty well. It's straight forward, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty straight. He might back it up and bank it, but like, like you said. I'd have to cut this in the side myself and try to float down. You kind of got to roll it, but I'd have mm -hmm. to cut it in the side. And I think what I'd do here is just cut this four in the side, go up here. You have to shoot kind of easy and try to end up in this area here. And then I'd play the six nine next. You have to hit that ball with a good touch. And... Uh, well, you hate to have to hit a ball that thin mm -hmm. and shoot that soft. Uh, yeah. Nobody's ever quite looking for that shot, but uh, you know something. George hits this kind of shot real well. You know the kind of stroke he has. He's got. He has a nice soft stroke. He, he overcut little, that yes, one. Yes, he did. Ooh, Those are hard. Bit. Anytime you have to take that speed off, any good player would rather hit that just a little firmer because uh, it just seems like it hurts your accuracy a little bit, Howard. It does, and. It, and it just, uh, you don't hit it as firm, and uh, you, you seldom hit shots where, where they're a long way from the pocket that thin, and you're about the same distance from them, and you usually hit them a little firmer. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, I don't know if he can get this ball to draw straight back, but I think he's got to come down by the six, maybe shoot the, uh, well, here's shoot the five up in the other corner. I think uh, you're right, Howard. I think that uh, he has to play the, the five ball in the upper right-hand corner unless he can draw straight back. I believe he's trying to draw straight back. No, no he's, he's trying to get above it. Yes, he is. Ooh. Boy, how good did he hit that? Because see where that cue ball's tracking? It's tracking right toward that side. Yes, it is. And boy, what a nice touch that requires because to get <coughs> down there deep enough off that first rail, mm -hmm. <coughs> that's going to take you toward that side pocket, but what a nice touch. Jimmy opened up with a great position shot there. I mean, that's that's hard to execute that shot, it Howard. It is, because you, 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 you let up on the lead. You don't want to scratch, and that angle always comes out towards that side pocket like that, and you're in danger of scratching if you hit it hard enough. Well, Jimmy exhibiting uh, some of the uh, skills here with the position on the white ball there that uh, is one of the reasons why he's up for the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, what a nice... He made that just a nice, easy rack, but uh, before he shot at that uh, <coughs> ball on the side, mm -hmm. I tell you what, he really, he come out of the box pretty good with a pretty good, uh, a pretty good uh, test there. That wasn't an easy shot, and uh, he pulls into the lead one game to zero. Yes, it is. I wish Jimmy luck in his quest for the Hall of Fame, too. Yes, I do, too. Uh, yeah. I wish him uh, all the best. Okay, now Jimmy last time broke from the right and uh, didn't make a ball. This time he decided to go over to the other side of the table. At least when I say right last time, the way Jimmy's looking at the table, it was from the right. Mm -hmm. He did switch our, It was our left, and this time he went to our right. And uh, he's found uh, a ball, Howard, and uh, it looks like to me... Uh, He's long and straight on the one, but it uh, looks like to me he's in pretty good position. It looks like to me here you need to get a good angle to come up for that three because the eight's blocking the three, so he only has really one good pocket to pay it, play it on. But if he's not perfectly straight, he may go all the way to the end rail here. Yeah, just force it, you <coughs> force it forward some. If you go to the end rail uh, and don't scratch, you're in good shape. But anywhere up past uh, straight in it will be to his advantage. Well, he has to get past straight in here. He's mm -hmm. going to have trouble getting uh, on that three ball if he don't get past straight in. I think he's going to, yeah. I think he'll go all the way to the end rail so he doesn't have to roll it. Yes, he did. Oh, what a get nice touch. What a nice touch. And that shows you that we saw the shot last uh, game that uh, Ginky missed. And uh, uh, it was a hard shot, that thin cut where he had to soft roll it. And you see Jimmy using that experience to go ahead and hit it firm and falling on the perfect angle on the two because the three only really goes in this 
Uh, one pocket, Howard. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy uh, looks like he's off to a great start tonight. Yes, it does. He's just going to draw this ball back and get position on the four. And basically, uh, he is uh, out from here. I mean, it would take a major catastrophe for him not to win this game. Yeah, the only thing that keeps him from winning here is a skidded ball, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in Norfolk. <laughs> <laughs> or this is Virginia Beach, actually. Okay, we are in Virginia Beach. I mean, I'm sorry, we're in Chesapeake. Chesapeake, you're right. We're Chesapeake. in Chesapeake at the Chesapeake Convention Center. What a beautiful building. And we're here for the inaugural Barry Berman's inaugural Master Nine Ball Championship. And uh, he said he just had so much fun with the U.S. Open. He had to see uh, all the fans and the players twice a year, not once a year. And uh, he really drew an incredible field this year. He drew 88 of the top. Uh, best players in the world and uh, he said when he started his U.S. Open over 25 years ago that the first one of those he started he had 16 and last year I think he had almost 290. Yeah he had a, he had a good number and uh, that was a huge field. It was a huge field and he's probably looking to improve on that this year. Okay Jimmy Rempe wins game two he pulls into the uh, lead two nothing and uh, Looks like to me he's playing real solid. Uh, it it is real solid. He, he he changed his break to that one side. He made a ball and he's broken run out. And uh, let's look and see if he checks the rack before he breaks the balls. Now to all you fans out there, uh, Howard mentioned to me earlier tonight uh, before we came on the telecast, he said uh, he kept hoping we'd have some more senior tournaments. And uh, he said maybe he was uh, wishing the wrong way because right now he's ranked number one. He said he guess if they don't have any more, he'll be number ranked number one forever. Well, uh, that, that might be the case. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, I was calling Steve and, and prompting him to have some tournaments. But oh, boy, what a nice break. Did you nice see break. that control? That corner ball yes. flew straight in and... Uh, Boy, he hit those square and a uh, lot of action here. A lot of action on that break. Uh, ball flying all over the table. And uh, Jimmy, uh, he's uh, he's got uh, he's got kind of a this is not a give me on this one ball. And look at that three four that's tied up. So Jimmy's got to pocket a good shot on the uh, one. And part of the problem here is. Uh, where is he going to go here, Howard? Uh, I think he wants to break out to three and four on this shot. Uh, well, get to that's make dangerous. It, yeah, but if he if he hit it nice and if you stay on this side, if he if it, the ball comes down this way after hitting him, he's going to have a shot on the two. But I don't. Uh, other than that, he has to come over and get shape on that three down this pocket down in the corner, this right hand corner pocket closest to us. And uh, I don't know if he's going to do that. That that seems like it'd be a lot tougher. Well, let's see what Jimmy's elected to do here. He's cutting it in, and I believe going back and forth. And uh, well, he tried he to, break, tried him to out break him out, and uh, I think he overcut that ball. Unfortunately for him, uh, he's left uh, George Sansusi a shot. Now, I'm not sure that one slides by, by the six, so George may uh, have to uh, start out and uh, cut the one to the six and start out with a combination. Yeah, I think I don't think he's going to play safe here. I think he's going to go for the ball. And the only other thing is that three ball. I don't know if it goes in its side. It's awfully close if he makes this and gets a run out. But I think I would look at that consider on uh, where to shoot the combo and play safe here. I don't think I'd play safe here because uh, position uh, is something you don't have to worry about here. Well, you know, that's pretty well automatic. He well, just had to concentrate on pocket and the six. That's a big difference when you're aiming at a combination when you had to, when you got a hard position shot. Uh, well, I was considering the position of the three ball. Uh, wondering if the three ball goes in the side. Apparently it does. And uh, George has got a good little angle here on the two. He can just, uh, yeah, apparently the three does go in the side. He just stop or fall it down a little bit, come back up. Doesn't look like he's in any kind of trouble. We do anything extraordinary here. Well, the only thing he has to be careful here is, uh, yeah, Ooh. I see he's coming up. He wants to be able to hit that four, three where he can cut a little bit, so ah, he'll yes. have the energy where he hits it thin enough where the cue ball can get away from that spot and come back mm -hmm. across for the uh, four. He wanted to be able to cut that three in. 
Mm, yeah, just come right across that was, for it. That was a nice touch there. Yes, that was, it was. That was real nice. And uh, Now, how do you like to play position going from that seven to the nine, Howard? Uh, I like to get an angle and come three rails around. I do, too. Follow it. I do, too. But I think now it's too late for George to do that. He's falling straight in on the five. Mm -hmm. And I think he may have to float over close to the rail and draw back. Yeah, he may do that. He may hit it. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. But it, he's got a little angle. Uh, I tell you what, uh, this jumpy he's got to be uh, a little careful. What you're fighting on this shot is you can go over too far to the right of the shot. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do you think he was doing there? You think he was trying to hit it full and come up along the left rail there, or do you think he's trying to come all the way back for the uh, which corner pocket you think he was playing for there? I, you know, it's hard to tell the way he hit the ball, but at that angle, I would have still tried to play it in the right hand corner pocket uh, on, on his left, uh, the ball, the corner that the nine ball is closest. Too. But you usually have to shoot that a little easier, don't you? And just yeah. try to pull it above the string and take a little longer yeah. shot from that angle, don't you? Yeah, he hit it exactly right in between. Uh, and that's where he ended up on the shot. And he's got a he's got a test on this nine ball right does. out of the blocks to get on that uh, first game. Well, he and, uh, passed that, the test. That was nothing but center court, that nine ball. And mm -hmm. uh, he really come with a nice shot on the nine. And uh, now in the match, the winner of the third game is George Sansusi. And uh, he trails uh, Jimmy Rempe one game to two. He made a nice shot. He made a nice out there. Got out of line and recovered. Tell you what, this uh, both players seem to be playing uh, great the first three games. Uh, not many mistakes going on here now. Nope. Nope. Playing well. Uh oh. Oh, yes. Well, Riffy's taking his time racking these balls, isn't he? Tell you what, sometime uh, I'll really be glad when we get to the point in this sport where we don't have to do this no more. I hate this part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I was watching them play the match earlier on this table, and they were up there pounding those balls, and I was thinking then uh, that uh, it's going to be really tough to rack on this table this week because they pounded them in different places and different times. Who was pounding them? Well, the guys playing, and then the referee came over and, and pounded them some. That's what, uh, right now, he can't rack the balls now. I didn't think the players were allowed to pound the balls. I didn't think so either. I didn't think so either. Tell you what, Jimmy's having a lot of trouble down there. Uh, he's been working out with this rack. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, you're looking at the hands on that rack of uh, the future Hall of Famer in uh, 2001 may be uh, Jimmy's year. It may be. It may be. Who else is on the uh, list that you know? Earl Strickland is on the list, and I believe Alan Hopkins. I believe those. it's up uh, for grabs. I think it'll be one of those three. Mm -hmm. Okay, now George is staying over on the same side. He's kind of bridging off the rail, and uh, he made two balls. Yes, he did. He hit him. He made an extra ball, and he really cranked on him pretty good. Now, he kind of bridged uh, on the table, and part on the table, part on the rail, mm -hmm. which is more the uh, bridge you use for the uh, when you have to play the box. Now, that's one change Barry Berman made in the rules of this tournament. And that is you can break from the rail in the U.S. Open. You, they put a break box on the table, and I think that makes a better test myself. What, what's your opinion of that, Howard? I think so. I, I really like the box better. Uh, the, the break, uh, it seems like when you can break anywhere on the table, with the way today's players study everything and figure things out and, and look for an angle, it, uh, the break just becomes more than half the game, and the break shouldn't be that much. Okay, now, uh, George St. Susie, his nickname is Ginky, and he demonstrated a little uh, control of the cue ball himself on that shot. Uh, went three rails and just fell perfect on the three. And uh, 
<clears throat> the main thing here, you see him looking there. That's where he wants to, he's going to have to, from this angle on the four, he, I'll try to show you here uh, how he's going to go from the four to the six because he's got the seven that's blocked by the nine. Okay, I missed the light. Oh. Isn't the light. Okay. Okay, okay he... Uh, now, do you come up for the combo here, or you come over and play that nine ball in that lower left corner? Let me, uh, I can't see the shot. He's... Uh, you know, he, I, yeah, I would come down and try to play the seven over in that corner. And I think that's what he tried to do. He ended up just about the same place to do on the nine. Now he, has, now he has a big choice to make, Howard. What do you do right here? Uh, from here, I might shoot the combination because even if you cut the, the seven in, the cue ball, you might make the nine with the cue ball, but the cue ball, you don't have control of the cue ball. You don't know where you're going to end up on the eight. And the, cutting the seven in is a tough shot. And if you spin that cue ball uh, out of that corner with some right spin, you can, you can leave it down on the end rail, and it's possible safety. Oh, if you're shooting a shot. Uh, however, from here, you could play safe, but you got to place that cue ball behind the nine, and that's a, that's not a real good shot either. Well, not real easy. No. You can always thin the seven on the right-hand side and miss I the nine. I think he's maybe or... playing the billiard and trying. I think he may only leave Rempy a bank if he misses this. No, he went strictly oh, for the cut. He, and, he uh, went past the nine. That was a good <coughs> shot. He missed the uh, nine uh, completely. Uh, and uh, he's left himself a long shot here on the eight, so uh, he made a great shot on the seven. Yes, he did. Uh, the speed ended up on the end rail. He's got a tough shot here. This is not a gimme. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, he could, uh, this shot could go either way. And he hit it oh, well. Oh, boy, he stayed down good with that. Yes, he did. He made a nice out there. He fell out of line on the seven, and he went... He went to, Ginky wins game number four, and uh, the match is tied two games to two games. Nice match we got going here. Oh, well, this is a classic nine-ball match here between two just really good players, great players. Well, Rimpy's racked the balls again, and uh, he must have decided how he liked them, but he's not having as much trouble this time. Yeah, it looks like he found the spot where they go together. Mm-hmm. Okay, now last time George made two balls. Yeah, George is moving his cue ball out a little bit farther from the rail than Jimmy. And uh, he's got his hand down on the table. He must like to hit that ball instead of hitting down, hit it hit it uh, more level. And uh, he does hit it harder, maybe jump the table. Oh, he's, okay, he now crushed he, those. he made two balls again. and uh, got it. Well, I think he can hit that three all right. I don't know if he can make it, but he can hit it. I can't tell from here if he can hit enough to bank that cross side or whether he may have to play safe here. Now, one safety I see here I like if he has to play safe is uh, I like the following shot here. If he can hit the three, if he doesn't have to push. He's looking at him. But I like uh, playing this shot here. Go Howard. ahead. Uh, did you press this? Okay, what I like is if you can hit this three th uh -huh. thin on this side, going to the rail here and coming back up here and putting the cue ball That's behind these two shot. balls, and the three will probably end up here someplace. That's what I like. Do you like that? That's or? an excellent shot, and I think that's the shot he's shooting. And, yeah, you know, one thing I nice. like that he did there is uh, he didn't move the three very far. No, he Because didn't. it's pretty easy to find this position on that shot over here. Uh -huh. But what you got to be careful is you don't leave his three out too far where it could get in this window here. So yeah. that was really, he really did a great job on that. Uh, and when you're playing safe, if you can leave him closer to the rail, or the cue ball, the ball close to the rail and cut off the angle going to the short rail, it makes it tougher to hit. I think that's a shot Jimmy has to play here. I think the nine's in play here. Uh, well, no, he's playing something else. Uh, maybe he can get to the rail uh, between the nine and the rail, the pocket, the rail. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what, and he's, he made, got the, he's lucky. made the six. Wow. Yeah, he, he hit it and he got a roll. That's uh, And that just shows you right there that any time you're snuckered uh, 
all good players, and one thing they like to do is they don't like to miss that ball because they know any time they hit that ball, something good can happen for they, them. They can have a, have a chance. And uh, Now, here's an interesting shot right here, Howard. Now, you got a couple of three options here. What do you like? Well, it, if, if you follow it and come behind the five long, you can come real long. And... Uh, as long as, but you don't need, you don't want that angle where you run, where you make the four and you hit the eight, at least not a sharp angle. I like spinning it short of the five to make sure I don't get that angle. Make the three, come around out of the corner, the other side of the five, short of the five. Jimmy Cummins coming all the way oh, around. Oh, I like this. I like oh, this, especially nice if you're, there. especially if you can execute good enough to hit oh, that. Yes. I really like that shot. Oh, he hit that ball good. Look what a me. great angle he's got here. Here, he can either go over and bounce off the rail, or he can kind of pinch it and try to stay, uh, just slide to the right on it. Uh, or mm -hmm. he can power it in and bounce off the rail. He yeah. pinched it. That's what I. That's what I like there. And look, uh, he's got such a nice angle on this five. Oh, I yeah. mean, uh, boy, what a nice shot. Uh, he kind of. Uh, Jimmy's got to be feeling pretty good about this rack. Looked like he was in a position to lose it when he was snuckered, and uh, he made the six, and then made a fabulous shot on the three. And what great control, speed made, control. He wow. Made, he made a good hit, and he hit that ball firm and planted it long like that. He got away from that angle, running the uh, hit, making the four, and running into the eight. Another way of doing it. Well, what I like about the choice that he made, Howard, is. Uh, at least you hit it with a pure stroke. When you right. shoot at that speed, you don't try to guide the cue ball. And, right. and your stroke is usually more accurate at a firmer speed. And mm -hmm. uh, like you mentioned, uh, the cue ball, just like on this shot, look how nice he's floating around mm -hmm. on this shot. Uh, goes three rails, and he falls like an inch from straight in. I mean, what, uh, what a nice touch. Okay, Jimmy nice Rempe shot. wins game five. He pulls back in the lead. He's leading this match three games to two. And uh, I'm going to rest see what he does on the break this time. I know he's probably going to stay on the left side because uh, he broke from her last time. But I'm kind of interested. I, th I think he'll make a ball because it looks like uh, this corner ball, this four, seems to be going in this lower right corner pocket. Or not the four, the eight this time. Yeah. The bay corner ball uh, seems to be going in this corner. So I'm kind of interested to see if Rempe finds that eight ball in the corner. And uh, well, kind of see, interested to see what happens. Now, he's breaking purely off the rail here. Yeah, let's see if he hits him a little harder. George was hitting him harder than it. Really pounding him. Let's see how he does with his power. Well, he hit him about no, the same speed. He didn't speed. hit him as hard. Now, this time, he made the ball behind the nine on the left side as we're looking at the rack. And uh, <clears throat> it won that lower left corner, and it was racked right behind the ball on the left side of the table. And uh, yeah, it forced I don't right think Rampy can see this uh, enough of this one to make it. Uh, he can hit almost a full ball. Uh, he can play safe. Or he can roll out, but he may he may have enough to just spin it a little bit and make it. And if he has to only spin it a little bit, he may shoot it, but uh, he's looking like he's going to shoot it, but it's really it's hard to say. Yeah, it's real tight. You can tell he's looking it over very carefully, and you can tell that the interfering ball uh, the seven. here, the seven, uh, close to between the two side pockets, you can tell that he probably has to spin this in with some right English on this mm -hmm. shot. No, Jimmy no, went safe. for the safe, and uh, he needs us to come off pretty short, and uh, job well done. Yes, he got it there. Job well done. It didn't leak out on him. So, Hit it good. So uh, George comes to the table, and he finds the three ball between him and the one. Mm. Well, he's got to kick off that short rail, and uh, I'll look for him to... to uh, come like this and come short and leave the cue ball come between here with the cue ball and kick this ball down like that somewhere and try to make some kind of safety out of it. Okay, I was thumping it as I went along. <laughs> okay, now lots of things can happen here. The one can go in this left hand side pocket. The one can kiss off a seven, go in the lower right corner. He can hit the seven thin and drive it toward the nine in that other corner pocket. This is one I like to hit firm. Uh, he, uh, he, kissed, he didn't get the cue ball back up there, but I think he was playing safe. 
I tell you shot. what, I, I I don't really like safe on that one. You know why, Howard? Why that's that? seven. I, it was going to be hard to get. As soon as that one hits a seven, it's coming toward this corner. And if mm -hmm. the cue ball's up there, you figure to leave a shot. I like. I don't like playing safe on that particular one. I like trying to go ahead and hit it a little firmer and hope I can something good will happen. Mm -hmm. I don't like the finesse kick here. Well, the most important part of the finesse kick was to get the cue ball up to that end of the table and leave him long. And he had several balls that he could get behind, but uh, I see your point. Jimmy's going to shoot this two in the side and just come up for the three. The ball's laying out there. He got another chance for a win here. He's trying to slow the cue ball down off the rail. Ooh, and kind of slid he, on him. He got bit. about six inches further than he wanted there, and uh, uh, he's left himself. Uh, then boy, the he's just flying to the table here. Like uh, uh, he's ready to boy, shoot. Maybe this. He must be playing good. Uh, fly to the table right over this shot. I mean, this hard shot here. Uh -huh. Wow! Oh, he just makes it like he didn't. Like he's playing it that way. No wonder he won them three tournaments. <laughs> 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 well, he was up in Boston, but he went home after the weekend. Uh, but his wife was sick, but he said he never got sick. So uh, he must be playing well. Yeah, it's always fun to watch Jimmy play. He just uh, such a great player. And uh, nice shot there, up on top of the ball, up on the rail, and get up high on that ball, and stroke it nice, not overstroke it. Just draw this six a little bit. Yeah, I just try to get up close to the between the two sides here. Right. I really don't try to get much further than that. And if you come up a foot or so short, uh -huh. tell you what, if he goes too far here, he's going to have trouble staying on top of the eight. But I think he can still stay on top of the eight. See, what you have to be careful on that shot is that uh, you don't get too thin over here where you can't stay up in this area for the eight. Right. But I think he's okay. I think he can pinch us over. But we'll soon see. Oh no! My oh. goodness! In the morning, he's, uh, he's he did uh, he did get in trouble on that shot, but he's come out pretty nice. He can pocket that eight in the corner, and it looks like he can hit it pretty soft to take advantage. Now watch his speed. Mm -hmm. This is where the knowledge of the really good players comes in. Now watch his speed. He plays this eight. He ain't gonna kill this ball. See how he kind of just uh, smoothed it in. Yeah, just. Kill the cue ball. And what that does, that gives you a little bigger target. That corner ball will take more shots. That's right. It, uh, it gives you more margin in case you catch a little of that rail going in that side rail. It will still go where at a harder speed. That thing, uh, you'll look up and that eight ball will still be sitting on the table. <laughs> at least <laughs> yeah. it's happened to me a few times. <laughs> Make that corner pocket a little bit more receptive. And George is racking the balls and he's not taking any great pains, but... You know, I think that George gave uh, a different rack the last time. He changed the rack a little bit because that corner ball didn't go. But uh, another ball went, so let's see uh, how Jimmy looks him over and see if he changes his break again. Okay, Jimmy Rempe, he won game number six. He's leading us match four games to two, and uh, he's got the break, and you're right, uh, Howard. Last time he made the ball that this time's rack where the two's at. Right. Let's it was see. the four last time, Right. but he missed that seven. Yeah, maybe hit him too full. Maybe he's got to hit him this way on the, to his left just a little bit. See how he hits these. Oh, uh, yeah. That seven ball went that time. Yeah. Went yeah, Jimmy's got to like that. But, uh, okay, now Jimmy has got a shot on this one, and he's got a choice to make. And uh, good as he's playing, I think he's not going to think about a safety. But he can play a safety and leave the cue ball behind this three. Or he can cut the one over in this pocket and go one, two, and maybe back out here. Or he may come straight up on this side. He has a choice how to play this. Uh, he can play mm -hmm. it in either pocket. and uh, Or he can play safe. So, uh, But as good as he's playing, I think he's going to go for this one myself. What do you think? Well, if you're feeling confident, you're playing well. Uh, and there, there's no hesitation to go ahead and shoot the shot. Uh, it, it could make the one. But if uh, you're not quite sure the table, we don't have a, real, a little feel for the table, a little unsure, play the safety. Well, I can't fault this at all nope. because, ooh, it, I'll tell it you what. Looks like it might be leaking out on him. Boy, he might uh, bump that three a little too hard. Uh, mm -hmm. I forgot to look at the expression on his face when he went down there to look at it, but... Uh, 
if George can shoot straight at that one here. It's close. I don't know if he can, but it's close. He can certainly curve it. I mean, he's almost sure to hit it. Yeah. Uh, and if he can curve it enough and, like, cross bank it up the table, we've got a chance of getting safety behind it five and nine. Or you can hit this easy. You can make the ball, or you can bank it up where you only leave the guy a bank. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, now. Oh, 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 he shot at it. He made a nice effort at making yeah, that Yeah, but look, even though he left Jimmy an easy bank on the one, look how hard the position is. So he has to make a choice here. Does he play the one, go th around the, all the way around the table three rails, or does he play safe? I like the safety here. I do, too, because... Uh, you could, making the one's not so hard here, but what's very difficult here is to avoid that eight ball. And also, <coughs> you you could, you well, I think the eight maybe got the scratch block, but uh, boy, this is interesting. Uh, Jimmy's looking at both ways to play safe here. I like bringing the one back between the five, underneath the five and nine, and go up between the three and four, or behind the four and three. That's what I like here. Well, you got an easy safety there. Of uh, that's pretty easy. That's a pretty good shot. Uh, you could also, if you could hit the end, hit that ball with inside, and hit the the right side, not the side he hit it, and uh, put the key ball on the other rail. You got the big five and nine there to get behind. See, that was a hard safety Jimmy used. Uh, that was, he really exhibited great speed control because, uh, you know, that requires speed control to drive that one across that end rail, mm -hmm. and he had to control both balls there. The yeah. safeties that are the easiest are when you only have to worry about the object ball. You right. know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, George is in difficulty here. Uh, it looks like he can hit it, or he he can curve it and hit it, but he, he's uh, pretty locked up here. He's, again, yeah, he's got to curve like, the ball. Uh, looks like what uh, George likes here is curving around the eight. And, uh, mm -mm. Ooh, nice oh, hit. Oh, boy, he double-kissed it. Got a little uh, lucky there. He did play, I think, a little fortunate there. Got a little bit lucky. Double-kissing that ball, you can scratch real easy. And, but nice. he has got a roll. He did get a roll, too. Now, Jimmy's looking at a couple different options here, but he's going to go with the sharp one mm -hmm. and try to knock the one up table and leave the cue ball on this end. He's going to try to go with the old distance principle. At least that's one option, but it looks like he has to curve around the two a little bit to... To get the angle he wants, and then that's to hit the one. Yeah, that, that it's hard. This is a difficult shot to hit the one and leave the cue ball, send the, the cue ball over towards the five and the two, and not uh, have it kiss and go up the table with the other ball. He's got to hit this ball well. Oh, he hit it on okay, that side. Uh, he hit it turned it, out uh, better than it could have. He hit it thin, and uh, he's left a uh, ginky shot. He overspun it a little bit, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Those curve shots are tough. They're not my favorite shots. I know that. It is when it's that far off the rail. It's really hard to uh, get the spin and hit the ball and uh, get the angle. Well, you just have to get the right amount of spin, mm -hmm. and boy, that's mm -hmm. tough to judge. And uh, mm -hmm. he's left. Uh, now Ginky's got a pretty good shot uh, on this one, but uh, he really has to uh, work a little bit here to get shape on that too. Uh, yeah, well, if he makes it and draws into that five, he it should sticks. be able to slow it down, stay on this end of the table. Oh, nice shot. Nice okay. shot. Okay. Actually, he'd be better off if the five went on in here, I think. Mm, yeah, but he used to get on that three, get on the <coughs> three right now. Because now he's going all the way up table with the cue ball when he makes the five. Uh, he right. may have to go around three rails, and there's a lot of traffic in the way here. you got the eight, the three, the four, uh, the six, uh, nine, almost every ball's in the way here. He might be able to just slow it down. Oh, yeah. you're right, Howard. Oh, nice shot. Very, very nice call, Howard. That was, uh, it looked pretty thin to me. I didn't realize he could stop that quick, but, boy, what a nice touch there. Now, he has to be careful he don't clip the eight here. Uh, he's going between the eight and the pocket. He's got to really control the cue ball here. He's got to go a little longer nice so shot. he doesn't run into that eight ball because you can fly off that eight into the corner pocket, or if you hit it full, you stick. But uh, he hit it, real hit it nice, nice control. Hit it nice. Just come down off the rail, three, make the four. Yeah, the I'd corner. play the four in the same pocket. Is that what you do here, yeah. Howard? Yeah, just come off the rail and play the four over in the corner mm -hmm. pocket. And, uh, oh, he uh, played it a little different. That's interesting. Well, he, uh, 
he was taking into account the slide of the cloth, played the natural slide of the cloth there, I think. Yeah, well, one thing about sitting up here, you can't always tell the angle they got on the balls anyway. Mm -mm. Well, he's in line. Well, well, he's a little bit out of line here, but no doubt about making the ball. Just if he wants to shoot easier, he's going to take a chance of shooting hard and going back up the table and get a perfect angle on the uh I would shoot eight. easy. Yeah, I think so. And then so. go three rails because he's got a natural angle mm -hmm. and bounce off. Uh, he'll, he should end up a little right of where he's at, so he's going to be pretty close to the nine, and he has mm -hmm. to cut it a little, but not too much. And uh, the only bad thing really that can happen here is if you freeze on that rail. Mm -hmm. And his touch was too good for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes on new slidey cloth, too, it comes a little closer to that side pocket than you want it to. Okay, George and Susie wins game number seven. Now he trails in the match three games to four, and uh, he's got that break again, and uh, he's been pretty effective on that break, Howard. He's been making a couple balls yes, every has. time. Both players have been making balls in the break, but George has been getting the best out of the break. Okay, you are definitely watching world class nine ball in this match between Jimmy Rempe and George Sansusi. Uh, just understand that the AccuStats for this match, they are both shooting 937. Uh, what? <laughs> no That's wonder we're watching. No, we're watching perfect nine ball here. That, now. that is a uh, phenomenal score. Okay, because uh, the reason 937 is such a great score is because a thousand is the best. That's the best you can do. The absolutely best. And that's been done, like, I think a couple times in the history of AccuStats. Uh, it may have been done a couple times. I know it was done once. <laughs> and, uh, uh, he made boy, a couple balls. He made uh, three that time, Howard. He, yes, he uh, did. He pumped it up a little bit. Uh, he made one more than he's been making, and... Uh, Oh, boy, he's got a nice shot on the three here, but he has to any time. You see the separation between the two balls on the table, the four and the five. He must get good position here so that when you have to go from one end of the table to the next, uh, a lot of times your position options are a little limited. And if he gets straight in here, he's got a major problem. You know, I thought he would come over and go back across <coughs> to get that angle and be close to the other rail to get the angle and go from the four to the five. But... Yeah. I like your choice better because uh, going two rails there because of the simple fact that uh, going this way, he needed to be down this way a little further, and that's bringing you across close to the four, which you hate to clip the four coming across. Mm -hmm. But I think he's got a little angle where he might be able to force that up table. Uh, it's, Boy, he's using high. Yeah, it's hard to. Uh, oh, he's going oh, around this Oh, my goodness. Did he hit it good or what? Man, what a pure stroke that was. Nice stroke. Now that takes a lot of confidence to play right. that shot. Now here's another chance. Here's another opportunity to use that slidey uh, cloth instead of coming to the left of the uh, seven to go to the rail and go behind the seven and get on the six. You know, let's see if he tries to hold it or if he does go ahead and use that natural slide here. Well, one choice I like to make here is I don't want to end up with the cue ball dying at the six. I either want Absolutely. to shoot too easy or too hard here. Right. Now he you know, comes right I don't it. like it dying at the six. Now, that's what he seemed to do. But I like he did have enough speed on it to bump the six. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, well, he uh, he got a shot. It's uh, not in perfect line, but he can come to the rail. He may be able to shoot easy enough not to get the rail, but I think he's got to go to the rail and come back up. Well, he has to miss the nine here. All right. And oh, see, now nice. he's on that angle where now he's got to hit this shot very hard, which makes that pocket a little smaller because he, I think he has to come all the way back about where he's at right now, and that's going to take a pretty hard stroke he, with low left. He may just hit it easy to go over that rail and, and take the shot from over there. Yes, he's oh, taking you're right. that. Oh, he drew oh. it. Oh. But that was a nice shot. Wow, I nice like shot. that. I like that much better than coming across because you can hit that shot. You don't have to uh, really mm -hmm. uh, hit a warp speed to do that. I like that. Uh, nice out there. But you notice uh, the first game when George hit, uh, when was the first game he, he, he shot that seven ball down and it came over too far. On that shot there, the ball looked like it came over too far. And earlier, when Rippey played position uh, on that seven, he actually came over too far, too. 
That's three times those guys have come off that rail coming across the table that they've come a little farther than they knew, wanted to. So maybe... Uh, I think that rail's going at a different speed. Could be. Could be they're just misjudging that uh, rail might be a little hoppy. I mean, there's a little jump to it. But when the moisture gets to the table, that can happen. Okay, this match is tied up. I wonder if game number eight is uh, George St. Susi and uh, he ties up Jimmy Rimpy. It's 4 4. And uh, this match have a making of a hill hill match away. This yes, match is does. going hard, nip and tuck a whole way, and uh, almost near perfect. We heard uh, the last rack that the AccuStats on this match were uh, 937 by both players, and that. That's uh, almost perfect nine ball. Well, we're tied up so far, but if balls keep going on the break for George, uh, he could uh, take a good lead. You know, George made three balls the last time he broke, and look, here comes the nine. And there's the nine. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, for the first time tonight, he pulls into the lead uh, five games to four. Uh, the nine just went straight in the corner, Howard. Yes, it did. It went right straight in. He uh, continues to have good success on the break. Okay, we just been notified that uh, George Sansus is over 950, so he's even improved his stats because uh, he ran out the last rack and then uh, uh, made the nine on the break. So uh, he's really coming on strong. He's leading by game, and uh, uh, Jimmy heading behind most of the match. And uh, okay, the last two breaks have been effective. Howard, he broke, yes. run out, broken, made the nine. And uh, now look how he's breaking. He's he 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 he's breaking out uh, with his hand on the table and All resting right. against the rail. But he's going more with a break you would use for open space break. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. And uh, boy, he made uh, the corner ball plus one more and uh, made a ball on the other side of the table. He made three balls, but uh, Jimmy don't mind because <laughs> he <jumped laughs> there's the not many <laughs> balls out there, and it looks like here. To me, Howard, that uh, it looks like to me here the most critical thing here is a playing position on the five. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Jimmy Rimpy uh, finds himself behind five games to four, and uh, he's taking a timeout, Howard. Yeah, uh, well. And we're going to take a timeout, and we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back in action. Uh, Jimmy Rempe just took a break. He trails in the match five to four, and George just made three balls in the break, but he lost the uh, cue ball uh, off the table. He cut it a little bit too much on the one and uh, flew off the table, and Rempe, Jimmy finds himself with ball in hand on the one. And he made the one. He's got shape on the two, and he's going to get on the three. Tell you what, he has to be a little careful here, Howard. This uh, yeah. looks easy because there's not many balls out but uh oh he uh he made sure he, he didn't get that wrong angle he's he oh got an boy. angle where he can go around the corner and get on that five but he's got a little long that's the only thing i don't like about it yeah this is a little bit long this shot is missable and uh, he watch jimmy's head let's see how still he stays here oh, oh hit it good. nice very nice jimmy really um he stayed with that shot great and uh that's a thing I always watch, Howard, and it's one thing when I'm playing I try to be conscious of is sometimes you move too much on those shots with your head, and I try, mm -hmm. I try to really, when I'm in a spot with a shot that's miserable, I try to uh, really keep my head steady because a lot of times people under that pressure of a hard shot, uh, it's just human nature to jump. I know I miss hundreds of balls doing that or probably thousands. Well, a good thing to do is, is to practice keeping your eye on the object ball until the cue ball makes contact with it and not moving. Yeah, I try to focus on seeing the collision, seeing the mm -hmm. cue, what you're saying, seeing the cue ball hit the object ball. And Jimmy Rempe wins game number 10, and the match is five games for Jimmy and five games for George. And uh, it keeps looking like uh, looked like George was going to take uh, <laughs> a lead there, uh, Howard. And now uh, we're knotted up at five again. Uh, this match has been pretty well tied the whole way. And uh, well, he he would have taken the lead, but he jumped the table, and his break was working good. But uh, Jimmy's got an, uh, an opening now, and uh, all he needs to do is make a ball on the break and run a couple racks, and he'll be back in the lead. Yeah, 
Jim is checking that right carefully. He's uh, looking at something. And, uh, and see if he changes his brake out to where George was hitting him. Uh, he's out there a little bit further. He's still on the rail. Though, but well, Jimmy hit him good last time he broke. He got yes, a lot of action. Uh, he hit him uh, real hard and uh, hit the one square. He got a lot of action the last time he broke. And uh, oh, he made, made the, the six. And, oh, nice bump on the seven. Uh, six that, and always, eight. that always brings us, made two balls himself. And uh, <coughs> who don't like to start off with this as your first shot? <laughs> yeah, just make this one and uh, come off the rail a little bit. Make the two, draw back for the three. And the secret's just getting off the rail and, and uh, making this one. And I tell you what, oh, I'd have a little trouble reaching this. Yeah. Jimmy's about six inches taller than me, and uh, he's stretching himself. So maybe this is the stretch is uh, makes it hard because he's got a he has to pound that. Yeah. Oh, nice job. He did, and the ball was coming off the rail well. It's not sticking to the rail like that ball came off the rail. You worried about getting behind the three, hitting hard enough to get, maybe you get behind that three, but the ball was coming off the rail well. Just draw it back a little bit. Shape for the three, the four, and five. As long as it doesn't, you know, do something and get out of line. In good shape here. Well, he's just going to kind of stun that, but he's a little on the wrong he, angle here. He, uh, he did get a little wrong angle. He wanted to get on the four where he could go over to the left and play the right. five in the lower right-hand corner, but now... He's got a choice to make. Uh, if he follows, he could he come down behind that seven or hit that seven. Something funny could happen. Well, you called what he said he's going to do. Uh, he's going forward to the end rail and then try to come back up. Good shot. Oh, what real nice, real nice. He wouldn't mind floating just a little further, though, because now he's found, he's a little tricky right here, Howard. He is a little tricky, but it's better to be tricky from here than it is to hit it too hard and come on too far down the table. <laughs> <laughs> a voice of experience yeah, there. No kidding. It looks like he can just stomp that ball right here, maybe move it just a hair, but he Ooh, needs to move it That's a little back long, a Howard. That's a little too long. Uh, oh, he can... He can uh, I'd rather pull it back where his hands are at myself. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got a little angle, a little wrong angle. Oh, okay. He can't little pull bit. it straight back. No, he, no, he's going to the rail even coming over. Now, he's uh, he wanted to come out a little farther than that, but he, he didn't have that much angle. He, now, can he cut that in and pull it up to the third diamond on this side of the side, one diamond past the side, or does he have to go all the way across and then use that low right English to spin it back up to play the nine? I, and I, I like drawing it straight back easy because you go to the rail above the side pocket, you got to wheel this ball. I, like I don't think he's doing that. He's not aiming low enough for that. Yeah. He's coming. He, oh, he's going to get a break there. He got a little break. He wheeled that ball and got away with it. He overcut that seven a little, which is a natural tendency mm -hmm. when you really uh, you see how hard he shot that shot. Mm -hmm. And the natural tendency is uh, to overcut that ball. And get, get that angle for the position okay. rather than making the ball. Game number 11. Uh, turned in Jimmy Rempe's favor. He leads the match 6-5 to five and uh, still has the break and the way this table's breaking uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised uh, to see him run a rack or he, two here. He did Howard. run a rack or two and he got a little lucky that last rack on that 7 ball but he, he's got an opportunity now to really take a lead. Uh, he's, uh, he's filling with the rack now. Uh, well, I've done a lot of these AccuStats with Grady Matthews, and uh, one of yeah. his pet complaints is he says, guys, they luck a ball in, and then he says, they hit me with four more racks. <laughs> well, you know, it, it seems like that can happen. <laughs> but the, I think the thing to do is when you do get lucky, go ahead and bear down and take advantage of all that you can. Don't feel like... Uh, you owe one. <laughs> no, no, not when you've been playing the game as long as uh, we have, Howard, because we've been on the opposite side of that coin ourselves right. a few times. That's absolutely right. Oh. Okay, Jimmy seems to uh, be looking this rack over. He's uh, not happy. Uh, Okay, you see the AccuStats on the board, and all of a sudden, Rempe has pulled ahead in AccuStats, 9.57, and Susie 932. And it's a, it's a rarity in this game to see both players over 900. It's hard enough for one player to play over 900, so you're watching a, 
incredible match here. Uh, and uh, we knew it was going to be a good one before it started we tonight, did. Howard, with these two players. Uh, and out, they're playing outstanding pool. Jimmy's uh, breaking. And uh, last time he hit a little bit to the right. Let's see if he, come, uh, he got back on this side of the ball. Okay. Made it different. He made got it. the cue ball a little high, and he wants that one to stop before it gets behind the five. He's made a couple balls, but now he finds himself in a position none of us really like, and that is uh, unless he can hit enough to play safe, he might be able to hit the outside of it. And, uh, and well, I like rolling out where you can just hit the outside of that ball a little bit if he can't hit it. And I can't Jimmy's tell he's going after the safety. And, it looks well, like he can hit he's it. He's going to try to hit. Okay, now what I, what I think he's trying to do, he's hoping he can hit enough of the one to bring it here and let the cue ball come off the one and come up here toward the nine, or he may come down here, but leave him a lot of distance here. Yeah, that, that looks like it. And he's hit it pretty good. He may make the nine again. Or, ooh. See, you know what I like to do on that shot. I like to picture making that nine in my yeah. mind <laughs> because I know it's unlikely, but one thing about a mental picture in this game, sometimes they come true. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes it seems to guide your hand a little better. Yeah. Sometimes you do get the unexpected. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, George is, uh, got, can hit this ball. Uh, I can't tell if he can hit enough of it on the left side to, to, to follow it up the rail and put, bring the cue ball down behind the four and bank the one down this way. Uh, I just, it's hard to tell exactly how much that ball he can hit. Well, he's in... Uh, he's like looking at making it, I think. Yeah, I think he's looking at maybe cutting this in or maybe hitting the outside of it and going mm -hmm. maybe two or three rails behind the nine. Uh, he's uh, looking at it carefully and uh, it's tough to get that angle. See where he's, safe. he's looking to hit a four and go around the table three rails but looks like to me if he goes that way Howard if he misses the nine it looks like to me he's going to leave Jimmy a shot on that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe a long one but uh, it looks like unless he's, he's going to try to get behind the eight or something. Yeah it looks like he is, he is actually playing it safe rather than trying to make the ball like he's hitting the ball and, and doubling the, the one out of the corner and bringing the cue ball down around behind the five and down around the eight and leaving him long. But I, you really can't tell. He's shooting easy. Well, he decided okay. to just leave my bank. Okay. I'll be, it looks like to me Jimmy's going to have a shot. Uh, looks like to me Jimmy has to go after this one here. Uh, George yeah. just trying to leave him a bank here. Uh, mm. Position here is a little tricky. Uh, I don't mean to say that this one is easy either, but uh, of course he could cut the one and uh, try to go two rails, but I don't think, I think the three is blocking his path to get behind the eight mm -hmm. and block the one and, or the cue ball and the one ball. It'd be nice if you could put that eight right in the middle of them. <laughs> if you have some confidence in your banks, as you do, uh, you bank that ball and I think drop behind the four and spin it down behind the eight and, and spin the ball over towards the three, you might get behind it. Uh, well, Jimmy is. Uh, He's trying to get him with the five. I mean, yes, this is. is no accident here. <laughs> and this shows uh, a lot of people think, oh, how lucky can this guy get? He got it behind the five. Well, that was no accident. That was a great shot there. That was he might have. He might have played. Uh, now, George may be able to get behind it and kick that one, but uh, right. it's going to be hard for him to get behind it. I think enough to get up for the seven. Now, he's looking at driving that one toward the seven and maybe mm, making the seven, like but I'm not sure he can get in deep enough. I think the one's going to go to more toward the four. Well, if he can get in behind it, get past what, the seven, but it, it's, it's a tough safety from here because of the four being where it is. Uh, and you don't want it to be short of the four, certainly. The now angle just won't be right. Unless he can clear that seven and maybe get him with yeah. the eight. I don't like his end here. I like Jimmy's end on this shot. Yeah, he might. He might. Uh, See what I mean? Yeah. He couldn't get it up high enough to make the four. Now, mm -hmm. he's, uh, I tell you what, though, he's, uh, he's uh, left Jimmy pretty tough here. I thought he might uh, shoot the same safety shot before, thin it, put it over by the rail, and keep ball over here and start over again with that bank. You know a shot here I think uh, Jimmy's got to look at is the one and make the cue ball go over and hit the seven. Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility. He may, uh, well... I think it's laying pretty good. I think that may be his best shot. The only bad thing is he can get snookered on right, that shot. Right, there's no shot there. Uh, and if he shoots hard, then the scratch is in play. Uh, what, Let's now, see what Jimmy goes for here. He may cut the one into the seven. That's another option. The angle's wrong for him to roll it over and play safe behind the seven, too. He doesn't, if it... 
to have a little more angle, the angle will be right for that. Uh, Especially is, if you could come in sharp, but if you're yeah. going toward the seven, then you're liable to play right. safe and make the seven. But if I knew I could come short, I kind of like that last option yeah. you said. Cut the eight where you just barely, or cut the one where you just barely miss the eight. Mm -hmm. Kind of go over the spot and then mm -hmm. die the cue ball there where you block. Well, you could even nestle against the seven, but boy, if it's going toward the center of that seven, I wouldn't try it's, it. It's chancy. But I, I, I think look. he may play that shot, but uh, it looks like he's maybe trying to take a big stroke here. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, he, he doesn't have any, any kind of easy safety. I mean, he doesn't have anything where he can get behind the five when you just run that to the angles. You know, all his angles aren't, aren't panning out for a, okay, a good Okay, Jimmy Rampey's in a tough spot there. And uh, let's see what he there is doing. I can't tell what he's doing. He, he tried to he make tried the to seven. Combo on the seven. He tried to make the seven, and uh, that's that's real hard. But uh, he he was in a position where it just didn't look like there was anything easy. There wasn't anything easy. He went for oh. the easiest ball, which was the seven. Okay, Jimmy Rempe, he faced a critical shot there, and I was a little surprised there. I thought he'd. I didn't think he'd get quite that hard a shot there, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with no. him hitting that ball. But both that that one ball found a very difficult spot for Jimmy on that. And uh, I tell you what, I think it's found even a tougher spot for George. Yes, He's going to have to play this one. He's going to have to play the one here, Howard. I think he's only a real good shot here. Well, I shouldn't say that, but here's one up. I think I'd try to make the one here because the cue ball is going to go over here in this automatic shape on the three. I think here I'd be thinking purely offense. Well, you could unless he's a golf <coughs> player. You know, these golfers kick these balls in the side pocket pretty good. Uh, but uh, Now, he could play safe here. But well, I don't maybe he can hit it full enough. No, I don't he think can he can hit it full enough to drive it. Here's another option he has there. And... Uh, and he could maybe cut the one a little bit and bring it this way. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I'm bringing it up too far. Let me show again. He can maybe hit this and try to drive it over here and draw the cue ball maybe here behind this uh, four ball. Mm -hmm. That might be an option. I can't tell. Yeah, it's real close on that angle. But he can't cut the one in the corner because of the simple fact that there's a side pocket there in the way when he goes to the left with the cue ball <laughs> to cut it in. I remember there was a guy uh, in the pool in Columbus who used to Talk about shooting this shot, playing one pocket, one rail first. He'd always talk about that being a great shot. And uh, he's I, doing something else. Yeah, he's playing that safety you, you drew up there. That was a nice shot. I can't fault that shot. In fact, no. I definitely like the results. Oh, good shot there. Jimmy's got to kick go to the rail and kick at it, but uh, he doesn't have many options. He's on the rail. Well, I think the four is in his way where he can't go straight across mm -hmm. without using English. Mm -hmm. You don't but, really know, it uh, makes that a little difficult to get a good touch on it. Well, you can slide off the one, scratch on the side here. Mm, yeah, there's just, uh, it's not a, not a great shot. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, he's in a tough spot here. Uh, George has played a really nice safety. Mm -hmm. And we're in a tight match here. Every shot is so, every shot, every game so important. Uh, uh, Rempe's ahead one game. Uh, the margin is uh, small, so uh, Jimmy's looking it over real carefully. And uh, Yeah, he's looking at something better than spinning that ball over there, hitting it. He may even uh, kick down this way because it's a better angle. Now, this is, uh, well, he can still scratch here, but he's only got one scratch. That's probably he has to put a little line. reverse on this, Howard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Look oh, at, look at this here. shot here. Oh, oh. Bad scratch. What a tough scratch. Okay, and uh, mm. Jimmy's... Uh, he missed the 1-1 one, one rail and went two rail and hit it. Looked like he's going to get a little bit of a lucky break. If you don't catch that <laughs> corner pocket, I think he was going to catch a lucky break there. I but, think he uh, was. This uh, match is going to get tied up in a hurry here. Yeah, real quick. George's going to make this combo, I think. Even with the bridge, he's going to make this combo. I shoot this one left-handed, but... Uh, yeah, I think I would shoot left-handed, too. And I'm surprised, and he shoots left-handed. Opposite handed. I don't like using the bridge. It's so easy to get a little of the wrong spin on it. Mm -hmm. But George shot. didn't have any trouble with it. And game number 12 goes to George saying Susie, and he tied up Jimmy on its six games apiece. And uh, well, Jimmy's back racking the balls, and uh, George has been having good success with the break. Last time it was tied up, George jumped the table. I bet he don't jump the table this time. 
Well, I don't think George just forgot about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he was on a roll of trying to take Jimmy out of the match at the time. He had uh, made three balls on the break, then he made the nine on the break. It looked like he was going to catch far and run a few racks, and mm -hmm. then that was a uh, momentum killer for him. No kidding. Going off the table with the cue ball, and uh, he's calling Jimmy back up to the table. Evidently, there's something there. Looked like he's pointing at the two. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, he don't like the way the two's laying, so Jimmy's uh, going to re-rack him for him. Yeah, he's... Uh, well, that ball stays there. But they both had trouble racking that ball up there like that. Yeah, I see over in table seven, while we got a break in action, it's Johnny Archer, uh, one of the best players to ever pick up a pool stick, and uh, they named him Player of the Year in the... Uh, uh, for the whole decade of the 90s. Uh, the 90s was definitely Johnny Archer's decade, wasn't no it? No doubt about that. He won he a lot of tournaments. Oh, man, did he win some tournaments. And uh, World championship a couple times or more? I think more than a couple times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch Johnny play. Mm -hmm. See him lining up his shot. And, uh, Really a great player. Mm -hmm. Won four out of five players of the year. What a record that is, huh? That yeah, is a nice record. He played great pool. He was just uh, young and was playing good. Ooh, nice touch on that ball. He would barely get kicked that ball, sewed him up, and froze him to the rail. And uh, he's playing Max Eberle, uh past collegiate champion, national champion. Uh, and... Uh, He's a good player, too, Howard. No, I know he is. He, uh, he uh, comes up and visits my neck of the woods there once in a while. Oh, does he? Yeah, up and uh, he's got some kin folks up there. He comes up. I get to see him on occasionally. Okay, we're back in action now, and uh, the match is tied up six games apiece, and uh, Genki uh, is getting ready to break, and uh, he's breaking a couple inches further to the left as we look at the screen mm -hmm. than Jimmy. Uh, he got down level, the ball hopped, but nothing, he didn't jump the table that time, and he didn't make anything. I tell you what, uh, he didn't make a ball that time, Howard. I think that's uh, about the first time in the match. I think so. I think he would have left that two ball wherever Jimmy put it. <laughs> 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 Apparently. Okay, now Jimmy's got a nice shot to start with here, and it looks like to me here uh, a couple critical points in this rack is position on the four and position on the five. Yeah, he's got to go by the eight, but I think he's got plenty of room. And uh, just drop back, get a little angle going up the table on that four. Well, I think the hard thing here is getting an angle on that four to get back up to play that right. five in the side pocket. Uh, he's got to go kind of long. He's going to be going kind of towards straight in when he bounces off that rail. He's going to mm -hmm. have to use a, a lot of left English to widen that angle here. Mm -hmm. uh, to get that angle, he wants to cross the lane here. Or he could come up real short and follow to the end rail, but we'd all rather be where we bounce off the side rail if possible. Right. Oh, he hit it pretty nice. He's got there. You okay, go. and that's the angle he's found. Uh, you go one or two here, Howard. Well, I would uh, follow that ball, uh, and if I follow it, go two. You could draw it, and but he's not going to draw it and come off the side rail. But that's a little chancy. He, I would go two rails on this. He's coming straight down one. Hey, what he come real? See, that's what I mean. When uh -huh. you come off that end rail, that path is a little tougher to judge. And uh, mm -hmm. he might be a little funny right here. He may, I think what I like here is just bump the six. Either uh, for the corner or the side, because it's a, that eighth block in that hole. He goes forward. He almost, he has to cut it. So I think Jimmy's going to have to do... Uh, to tap this ball in position. I, I don't think he can avoid this ball here. Well, if he tries to go in real, it looks like he's going to bump it anyway, but yeah. Oh, nice, nice how call. about that? Is that, nice uh, shot. Is that a nice, nice touch? And uh, Jimmy's uh, uh, one of the best straight pool players that's ever lived. And uh, you have to bump a lot of balls in that straight pool. He showed, yeah. uh, he showed his knowledge of the game there to control that six where he bumped it to to get such a nice angle. He 
He made this rack easy with that shot, huh? Yes, he did. He put it right in position. Okay, and... Uh, Coming up for the nine. And just perfect speed for Jimmy Rempe, and uh, looks like he's going to pull into the lead uh, seven games to six, and... Uh, it's going to be interesting. George came up dry on the break the last time for the first time in the whole match, I think. And uh, yes, he did. It's going to be interesting now to see what happens uh, on the break here with Jimmy. Yeah, we'll see if Jimmy makes him move that four ball around, or he just lets him put it where he wants to. <laughs> Jimmy run a rock or two here. That's a uh, that's going to really put the uh, no kid. That's what I always think about when I'm breaking in this position. Boy, if I can just run a couple racks here, I've got my opponent where the heat's really on. George is taking a lot of pains racking those balls right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's thinking the same thing. Sometime you don't want to pull the rack off of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid. I found myself <laughs> feeling that way several times, especially when it's like hill hill and I'm not breaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Jimmy now. Okay, he stays Jimmy's on this side of the ball. The left side, the way he's breaking the rack. Well, he hit more in the middle. I'll tell you what, he got that ball a little bit high. Yes, he did. He, he floated get lucky down, and uh, may get since he didn't make a ball, it's beneficial for him to end up leaving a lot of distance. Uh, but he'd been in a tough spot there if he made one. Yes, he would have been. Okay, the last two breaks now. Both players have failed to pack it a bow on the break. Now that's unusual on this set. But they still have a very close match. And uh, George gets the first chance here. He can roll out or he can uh, play safe. And uh, I like playing safe rather than rolling out from here because someone how rolls you, out. How would you play safe here, Howard? I would hit that two on uh, that one on the left side and uh, thin it, come around, try to put the cue ball behind the five and nine, or certainly down this way, you got the three, eight and two, and if you get it behind the five and nine, two, you just got a tremendous chance of leaving him uh, very safe. Yeah, I like that choice. I agree with you 100%. And Alex. he hit the ball pretty good. He hit it a little full, but. He hit it full, but boy, that two three's coming into play big time here. and. Uh, you know, on that <clears throat> shot right there, even if you hit it thin, the, the one ball travels less distance, but the angle comes down behind the five and nine. But if you hit it a little fuller, it still comes down. The ball travels a little farther, gets behind the three and two, and uh, is how the speed adjusts itself on that shot, even when you hit it either way. Yeah. Well, George certainly had great speed on that one because yes, Rempe's got two balls in the way of the one here, and... Uh, Jimmy's shooting into the end rail. He's trying to go by the three. He's putting a lot of right English on the cue ball so he can spin back into the one. And uh, Oh, he hit it full. and uh, He, he made a nice hit. Hard. But I don't think he's going to like the results of that kick. No, he just uh, hit a little too firm, or maybe he was thinking that it was going to, it could possibly hit the three or the two. Well, it could have hit anything. He just didn't hit nothing. At that well, speed. And plus there were two pockets over there. Could have went. Mm -hmm. He had a chance to make it in the side or the corner. He come pretty close to the corner, and uh, um, yes, he did. He would just soon make that one. Even if he did have to kick at the two. <laughs> It'd be better than than where he's at right now. I just draw it back a little bit. He's on the two, three. Tell you what, I think he got a little straighter in there and he wanted. Uh, yeah, he's got a little angle going to the left, to his left. And uh, he wanted a little more angle or. A little, or a little less, in. yeah. At least straight in. Uh, he's looking at the four. See, what we're talking about when he plays that four, he'd like to be down underneath that nine, close to this bottom in rail, uh, mm -hmm. so he can go up for the five. Uh, and. Uh, Ooh, he got uh, that's going to be pretty tough to get there from where he's at. I think he's going to have to run into the six now, Howard. I think so. I think he's going to do something, take a chance on hitting that six. He can hit a little full. Cue ball come over and hit the nine, or he hit it thin and and and, uh, and could hit with end up with too much speed on the cue ball and go around and get a long shot on the five. But uh, he's going to yeah, stop right this there. Is, uh, I think you're right. I don't think he can come back because he has to cut the three to make it. So he just basically stunned the cue ball, stopped right there. And now 
when he pockets the four, he's running into the six and uh, looks like he's planning on hitting that six thin. Looks like he he, he feels like he can hit it thin. Well, that, not really if he fair. hits it too full, uh, he could scratch in this corner pocket. Uh, yeah. No, right. he's not going to use that. Uh, oh, hit that ball. He nice. didn't use. Uh, that low draw where he uh -uh. <laughs> he used that high so that he uh, didn't get underneath that nine, kiss that nine in the mm -hmm. corner. That that shows you uh, the knowledge uh, that uh, he has there. Uh, that was real nice position on the five, but uh, the six didn't exactly fall in his favorite position here either. No, but he, he can get over there and get real close to that rail pretty easy, so he doesn't get that bad angle. And uh, he's got a little angle, that's what he wants. And, uh, well, this is a long stretch, though. This, for yes, me, I, I would be in trouble with this. Uh, yeah. uh, I've almost got to bounce off there more. Now he's, he's going with the left hand here. Now, uh, is he going to? Yeah, I think he's going to go ahead and go with the left hand. Well, now that's. Uh, After he didn't shoot that combo, yeah, that's, that's kind of funny because this shot's uh, a lot harder, but uh, maybe he just. Doesn't think he could get it up, uh, draw the cue ball back far enough with the bridge, and he thinks he can with the left duke, huh? Uh huh. Apparently that's it. Now he's going for the bridge. Well, I like shooting. Okay, no, he's uh, going with it again, and uh, no, I think he's going to change his mind. No, and he's looking at all the options, isn't he, Howard? He sure is. And I don't blame him because he trails in the match by one game, and we're starting to get down to the. Bottom half of the eighth inning, eighth inning uh -oh. here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna be all right. Boy, drew that. I thought that ball would come off the rail. So now, can he get good. on top of the eight here? He can, or he can scratch in the side with that slidey. Plays a slidey ball. Uh, he, it's just not uh, gimme, but and then it's coming well, down close. It's coming that way, speed. but uh, had that good speed where he couldn't well, scratch. Well, he did have nice speed there, and. Uh, uh, he made a little bit of a testy out here. Uh, yes, he did. Uh, Just draw the cue ball back. He made a. Rail. He made an awful nice draw shot on the six, uh, using mm -hmm. the opposite hand and. Uh, shot on the seven was good. Pockets the nine here. He's tied up the match once again, and it's seven games to seven games. Well, all of a sudden the break slowed down. George is looking to speed it back up in his favor. <laughs> 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 but maybe the uh, both players have discovered the right place to rack the balls and get them froze and uh, where well, there's dead balls aren't flying in those corners which is the uh, the bad thing about uh, breaking anywhere on the table in the old days the guys uh, weren't breaking all over the place they all broke pretty much the same place but uh, today players study that rack and uh well, I think that's where uh, AccuStat videos has been one of the best uh, things that ever happened for the younger players in the game because, uh, you know, when I was growing up, uh, I was lucky to ever see a world champion right. or a great player play because they didn't have many tournaments and uh, they had no videos. And, boy, I can see where, boy, my game, I could have probably uh, shaved five Ten years off of uh, what it took me think of the learning process that I had to learn by trial and error, and uh, it sure be a lot easier uh, watching uh, these AccuStat video tapes. <laughs> I yes, wish they had them when I was a kid. It would have been a great help. I mean, I remember when a guy would start playing pool; it would take him a couple of years before he could ever really play a little bit. Now, the guys can do that in six months. Well, just look at pattern play, for instance, how tough that was to learn. Mm -hmm. My goodness, you can watch these uh, videotapes and learn the pattern play so much faster. I mean, uh, much quicker. Uh, the pattern play, just that one aspect of the game. Look at how much time you could save trying to figure out what's the right way to go on shots. That took me a long time, Howard, figuring and, out different patterns. And, and be convinced that that is exactly what you want to do, isn't something else. Or the right way. Yeah, the confidence of it. You know, have the confidence that the way you're playing it is right. Well, mm -hmm. now all you got to do is watch the way that you can just order as many tapes as you want from AccuStats and... Uh, you can see uh, every pattern there uh, there is in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, it really, really helps. 
Well, Jimmy's looking at banking this ball or playing safe. And uh, I think he's going to play safe. Banking this ball is pretty chancy, unless he feels a little pressured. I mean, it looks like he can bank it in the side pocket and come two rails out, and, and as long as he stays on the rail, have a shot on the three. But uh, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that. Well, if I banked this, I'd have to shoot it pretty hard. Oh, yeah, you and, got to uh, that nine could come into play where you could get snuckered at five mm -hmm. or sitting in a bad oh, yeah. spot. But the safe's not easy either here, Rob. No. Uh, the safe is not easy, and uh, and uh, Jimmy's looking it over, and he's elevating like he plans on banking the two and going three rails for shape on the three. But, boy, even if he makes it two here, Howard, he the key here is not only does he have, a, have to make a tough bank, uh, if he hits us with a level stroke, I think he's going to play safe. Yeah, I, well, he could... Looks like he could bank it. Uh, it's even tough banking that two over between the five and three and hitting with a little high inside and leaving the cue ball down here because you might end up hitting that three and leaving him straight in. Yeah. I mean, the, the, uh, the other safety is, is hitting that uh, two thin on the left side and go directly up to the end rail. Okay, Jimmy you know, went, went for, for the, the bank. bank and see, this is why wow. he was in a tough spot because he's made a great shot and. Uh, I tell you what, he can see enough of this maybe to hit the outside of the ball and play safe. I think he's going to have to play safe unless he wants to go for the more aggressive shot and spin the cue ball around the five and try to make the three in the corner. Mm, well, he also, uh, he, well, he may bank it uh, hard over towards that four, but I don't see him doing that. He could, could kiss that ball, but I don't see him doing that. And right there on the screen, you see Jimmy looking at a very difficult shot. He can only see, I would say at the most, at least from the monitor I'm looking at here, he can at the most see a third to half of this ball. Mm -hmm. I like but, the plan uh, safe. I think he picked it right with the safety. Uh, could just go up the end rail and bring it down behind the seven, between the seven and the rail. And, well, uh, you know, if I can know. make this without elevating too much, I prefer going after this because I kind of like oh, this spin shot. If, if I don't have to get my cue up in the air, if I can just English it in, oh, he man. overdid it. He wow. sure did. He, he could see more of that ball than we thought. Well, no, he used English, but yeah. he actually got too much spin on it yeah. and hit it too full. Yeah. He, he apparently could, could almost see enough to make it, and he just and he put that inside, and it... And it uh, the moisture got to him a little bit and it spun it. I tell you what, uh, I know uh, the way Jimmy's feeling now. He makes a great shot on the two, but it just wasn't enough to win this game. He faced mm -hmm. a tough shot on the three, and uh, now he's left George a tough shot on the three. But the thing about this shot is you can concentrate 100% on pocketing the three because the four is hung up in the corner, and it really doesn't matter a whole lot where you end up on the four. It's going to be an easy, makeable shot. Absolutely. So here you just have to bear down on aiming, and that's why I think George will come with this shot because he doesn't have to do anything fancy with the cue ball. He can hit it close to the center and, and just if, go back and forth. And if he doesn't feel comfortable, he can play safe, put the cue ball behind that eight. You know, speed's not important here. He can hit it whatever mm -hmm. speed he's comfortable with. And uh, Absolutely. I'm not saying it's an easy shot. I mean, he's got to cut this a lot. I mean, it's definitely, you know. He's thinking about playing safe, too. He, he's considering all these options here. Well, there's no way I could play safe here. You know, the speed that three is going to be traveling toward the corner pocket is he's going to have a huge hole. He can catch a lot of that uh, long rail, right. and uh, that ball will slide in because... Uh, he can hit this the speed that gives him a big hole there. And you know what? He, what's bothering him here? He's thinking about having hit this ball with the inside, and he he's wondering. He just saw that ball skid on uh, on Jimmy Rimpy. And I'll tell uh, you what, that did kind of clean too, kinda, didn't it? It did. It did. He was thinking about that. I think it's what he was thinking about. Now Howard. Uh, now Jimmy. Uh, finds himself facing a, 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 another tough situation. Uh, here what I'm interested in is where do you go with the white ball? I, I'm assuming that the choice Jimmy's going to make here is to make the three. Uh, do you try to roll it and end up over close to the left rail, or do you hit it real firm and try to spin around and get above at seven? Well, I hit it with the optimum speed of making the three. Well, that's a softer speed. Yes, and that, that's the way I would hit it. And uh, all of a sudden, these he guys... He was trying to clear the seven. Right. 
I would like just rolling that, you know, make it the optimum speed to make that shot because it's a long, tough shot. And the, you're in good shape if you get over near that rail. You can spin the ball around the corner, not like it's uh, tremendously. You got, don't have to get up to the other end of the table or get on this side of the seven and have a good shot on the four. Yeah, I think I like ending up on the left side of the seven because I could hit it a little softer speed. He had to mm -hmm. hit it a little firm. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes pocketing the shot a little bit more difficult there. And uh, now George has got a thin cut on the three here, but the most important thing is is, is, is you don't like to run into the seven here, and that's hard not to do. Boy, now, you did that boy, ball nice. that was nice control. He made such a thin cut on the three and used just enough spin to... Mm -hmm miss that seven because mm -hmm. if he hits a seven he could end up behind the seven or the nine yeah, or possibly even in the side pocket yeah or scratch no well, he's in shape here he's in good shape here okay now this uh if george uh, runs out here which uh he's definitely the favorite to do so from uh, the position of these four balls he'll pull into the lead and this is the first time he's led this match well, in fact, it's the second time he's led this match. He led it at 5-4, and then he fell behind again. But he's uh, pulling ahead 8-7 to seven if he wins this game. And uh, this is the part of the match where you'd like to be ahead most of the time. That's right. At the end of the match, <laughs> one game lead is a lot bigger than in the beginning. Yes, it is. Uh, if George wins this game, he'll be going to 3, and Rump will be going to 4. And uh, that's a pretty good edge. Okay, as soon as uh, uh, George shoots at this nine, we're going uh, to uh, change the tape. Okay, we just changed the tape and we're back in action. Uh, the score of the match, George uh, Sansusi leads eight to seven and uh, he's breaking the balls and uh, Let's see what happens, Howard. Let's see. If he, I bet he don't jump the table. He's had enough of that. Oh, he hit them balls. I'll tell you what, he hit, hit those ball. nice and hard. And, uh, got a good shot on the two. He's made a couple, and uh, he's got a pretty good shot on the two. Uh, and it looks like if he pockets a two, he can roll up and get pretty good uh, position on the three. So here, shooting at the twos. Looks like to me it's almost like shooting at the nine here, Howard. Looks like if he makes the two, he'll probably get good shape on the three. And, uh, and uh, yeah, he should get out. He should get out from there. It looks like the three goes in the corner between the six and the eight. But he does have to hit this two soft, so this is... Uh, yes, he does. And uh, I think he's a big favorite to make it, but it's not a shot that uh, is impossible to miss. No, this is new cloth, so sometimes give you a little uh, jiggle every once in a while going over that way. And it did. I tell you what, he hit that ball a little full, and uh, there was, a, like I said, Howard, shooting at that two there is almost like making the nine. And, right. Uh, well, you know, Jimmy's got to be feeling good because when I see my opponent shooting at that shot when I'm sitting in the chair, I never think they're going to miss one of them. And boy, when they do, what a nice feeling it, it is, is to be able to get back up here when it looks like you're going to go behind here seven nine. Now you got a chance if you can get out here. He's got a little tricky shot. I think a, he's got, uh, I think, a little tougher shot for position here. Mm -hmm. And George had George had a little t a lot tougher shot. Mm hmm. But no, I guess he was okay, except I think he's falling pretty close to straight in on the three where he may have to stop right there for the five and take a little longer shot. He wouldn't mind being a foot, foot and a half Looks like closer. he might have a little bit of angle, but it, he might be able to come back to the rail and then come off. And oh, you're right. Oh, huh? yeah. But you, if you remember, George undercut the three. In the last game, both shots those guys uh, missed, they hit, they hit him too full. It's like the ball. Grab. Clung a little or yeah. skidded a little. So the moisture content in the room may have just changed. I mean, it's, yeah. it's night, sun's down. Uh, it could have got a little damp. Uh, dew may have fallen outside, <laughs> uh, affected the inside of the building. Well, what made that shot on the two so tough for George? He had to kind of roll it. Mm -hmm. And that's because the cue ball was close to the rail. If it had been off the rail, he would have pounded it on in there and, mm -hmm. and hardly ever miss that ball. But anytime you're on that rail and you got to roll it, 
it's always possible just not to uh, cut them or, not, or just it's possible to miss. That was and, a nice shot uh, there on that so on at five. Yeah, nice speed control coming around for the six, and now all he's got to do is pull back up. <coughs> He's got a little toward bit his hand. He's got a little angle, so he's going to go a little left of his hand. But about the only thing here that he can do wrong is uh, forget to draw the cue ball back far enough. Mm -hmm. Of course, he don't want to be on this end rail either. So no, it really. does require a nice touch here. Now, it looks like maybe he's trying to pound it off that rail, but he could get stuck over there, Howard. No, no, he's just drawing it back. Oh, he's oh, all the power way back. draw. Yeah, all the way back. Jimmy's showing off his stroke a little bit there, Howard. <laughs> yes, he is. Well, now he's uh, he's he got fell a little funny. Now is he going to pound this in to get it off that rail? Yes, he did. And uh, I right. like that. I like shooting farmer there. It looked like he'd have trouble getting that ball off the rail, but the ball's coming off these rails nice. Yes, it is. Uh, Just draw this back a little bit for the eight, nine. Because nobody wants to end up on that rail, close to that rail. Because when you roll them balls in. The same thing can happen to you that happened to George earlier in the match on the two ball. Yes, it can. So Jimmy's just got to be elated that he's able to tie this match up 8-8. It looked like uh, if George makes that two, he's going to fall behind 9-7, still be breaking the balls, and he's broke good this match, so he's got to, he's, uh, <coughs> got to be feeling pretty strong. Jimmy just got a shot in the arm, and we were talking about the, t the match on table seven. Uh, uh, Max Everly has Johnny Archer 10-9 now. Oh, wow. Archer was behind 10-8. Wow. And that could be a big upset in the making over there. That's pretty. Uh, that is a tough uh, first round match. Max Everly playing Johnny Archer here at the uh, Mas US um, or at the Masters tournament here in uh, Chesapeake, Virginia. And uh, Johnny looks like he's going to take a break and think about things, Howard. Yes, he is. He's going back to regroup. And uh, we're back in action here with Jimmy Rempe, and uh, Jimmy's getting ready to crack him here. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, Jimmy made the two. Where is the one going? And uh, He's got a shot. It's not the best shot, but he's got a shot. Looks like he's got a shot by that five in the side pocket. Yeah, I can't tell if that five's interfering with the pocket where it makes a small pocket and uh, Boy, position looks tough here, Howard. It looks like he might be bumping that three uh, where he can't make it next. Well, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think the five interferes with the side pocket. It looks like he's got a clear angle in there. But he's looking... Uh, is he looking to play safe? What was he looking no, at? No, I think he's looking to see where the white ball is going to hit the three. I think he was looking there, uh, maybe where the white ball is going to hit the three to see if he's going to get a shot on the three. And uh, okay, what's that head position here, Howard? Let's see mm -hmm. how still he stays on this. Stayed Boy, right down there. He stayed solid as a rock at Gibraltar. In fact, uh, I don't know. He's facing a difficult choice here. Well, you got to say, you got, I believe you got to play safe. Well, no, you don't have to play safe here. But, well, it, it's still tough to make that, even make the three off the five in the side. I don't it's like a, that. It's still a tough shot making it down, the uh, three down in the corner. Uh, I think maybe the safety might be the best shot here. Go and cue ball on the rail beside the eight, hit it towards the five, and just roll the, the three ball on down a little ways. Okay. And, uh, Ooh, that's I like, a pretty good shot. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to take that and Jimmy Rempe's played an excellent safety and now George uh, comes to the table and uh, George is elected to uh, he's going to think things over Howard yes he is he's taking a break and so are we Howard <laughs> alright <laughs> oh. okay we're back in action uh George is surveying the table here, looking for an angle on his three. And he's got two shots, as I see. He can go where he's looking, or he maybe he can come two rails out of this corner straight toward us. And this is a critical uh, shot in the match. Uh, the score is tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. We're playing a race to 11 here, so we're getting down to crunch time. And uh, Jimmy Rempe's played a dynamite safety here on the three, and George finds himself behind the five and six. And... Uh, He's got several kicking options, and uh, 
why he's looking things over. Uh, I haven't seen Jimmy yet, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and shoot here. Uh, it does. But you know something? I kind of like coming two rails out of this corner for getting the separation between the cue ball and the three ball. But he, I don't believe he was even looking at that shot very much, and he hit it. Okay. And he has, uh, left Jimmy a shot. Tell you what, he's left him a shot on the three, but the position here is a <coughs> little tricky. Yes, it is. He can go in the side and go up, go up and come back down, or shoot in the corner and come out of the spin out of that corner around and play the uh, four in the, uh, in in the left corner pocket. So, well, we're waiting for Jimmy to get back in here to the match. Uh, uh, he went on break with. Uh, George and I'm uh, got my eyeballs, uh, my eyeballs peeled on uh, right now on table number seven. Uh, Johnny Archer is uh, Hill Hill, and uh, he's uh, with uh, Max Eberle. Uh, he is uh, Hill Hill, and uh, he's shooting it to one. And uh, Max has got to hope that uh, he gets a chance to come back to the table here. It looks like to me he can make the one and uh, play position on the three. And uh, yeah, he's uh, looking at following that that, that, that that one a little bit. And that 4-9 <clears throat> looks like the critical part of that game. And uh, we have it on screen right here. Johnny Archer uh, is on the screen. And he seems to be looking to one to see if he can avoid that point, maybe. Or maybe he's looking to see if he can hit the one full enough. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got an opportunity. That, uh, that one, that side pocket looks awfully big there when he's shooting this shot. <clears throat> he may be looking it over, cutting it, and playing safe, too. Uh, up and down, say, but uh, other than that, uh, okay, we're temporarily uh, <coughs> watching the finish of uh, Johnny Archer match here. First round match where uh, look like Johnny uh, uh, is faced with a difficult first round match, and uh, he's facing a critical choice and a critical shot on the one ball, and. Uh, now we're back in action here with Jimmy Rempe and George Sansusi, and uh, Jimmy's got a good shot on the three, but he's got to really control the cue ball coming down for the four. The five and six is kind of in his way here. Well, you hit it perfect. And we'll let you know the results of the uh, Archer Everly match, uh, what happens now. Uh, Jimmy's got a good shot on the four. He's played great position there, but his bridge is a little awkward here, Howard. So yeah. he, he has to really bear down on this shot. It's not too bad because he's not real close to the five, but it is going to force him to elevate his cue a little bit. He's got to elevate his cue, and he's got to spin that four, draw it, and spin it you know, out of that corner. And uh, that, when you elevate, that always makes that more difficult. And well, plus the seven's in play a little bit here. Uh, he doesn't mm -hmm. want to hit the cue ball too low here and uh, end up going two rails behind the seven. Unless he goes way past the seven. See, he's going toward the seven. He needs to go. He needs to go. He needs to go. And he, I think he got there. Nice shot. Nice mm -hmm. shot. I kind of like the choice he made by going too deep and they're going by the seven. You like that, Howard? Uh, yeah, I did like that. Uh, I might have, well, if you shoot, the harder you shoot that shot, but you could even have drawn it and, and went off the side rail and hit the end rail and come back down if you, if you were afraid of getting behind the seven. But with that elevated cue, that really increased your chance of missing that shot. And Johnny looks like. Well, he's got a tight shot over there. The nine and the four are close together. Mm -hmm. So I think Max, I think they're maybe going to call for Scott to watch a close hit. Now, Jimmy here, he's got a shot on this six for the side. I like going around and playing this on the other side, Howard. That's my. Yeah. That's the choice I like. What do you like here? I like going all the way around this ball. Uh, you got to make sure you miss that nine. And so you, do sh you hit it short off that side rail, go in the end rail, come around and play the seven on the other side. About the only bad thing that could happen to you here is fall on top of the eight or get frozen on the rail there, the fourth rail. And also you got to think about uh, the skidding ball when you hit this ball and you can't spin it with outside. Oh, uh, he hit it nice. He hit it really nice. Well, he wouldn't mind if it stops pretty soon because uh, he yeah. don't want to be on that rail. Oh, uh, my goodness. That's, That's a killer uh, there. Uh, that is uh, now he has to elevate and... Uh, Nobody likes to elevate their cue on the ball, or either that. I guess he could soft roll and try not go down the table too far. I can't tell how steep that angle is, Howard. Yeah, meanwhile, on the other table, Johnny Archer made the three and scratched. Now, Harold has ball, ball in hand on the five with four balls on the table. 
Okay, now Jimmy Rimpy, uh, look at how high that stick's going in the air. And uh, mm -hmm. it's no, a difficult shot. That's this makes it a very very difficult shot. But the reason he has to do this is that if he uses, he can't go down without hitting the the nine and ending up close to the end rail. Oh. He overcut it and uh, he got a little lucky I on the tell roll. You what, uh, he's left George where the nine is uh, blocking. George going to have an interesting choice here, and uh, uh, okay, we're going to table number seven. We're in the first round here at the Masters, and we're watching Max Everly, uh, past national collegiate champion, and he's getting ready to shoot the winning ball against Johnny Archer, and there's not too many people that can make that claim. And uh, he's won the match 11 to 10, and that was a, a tight match there. Johnny made a shot on the four, I guess, and scratched. He had a yeah, he's setting the shot up there. Okay, now what do you like here, Howard? I like playing safe, running that seven ball back up the other end, just like this. Uh, you what, he's that's a little, a little short. bit easy. That's a little bit short. What? Okay, now even though uh, he'd like to got that, even eight. Even though he'd like to get that seven down a little further, this is not an easy shot. But I tell you what, Howard, I'd have to try to make this ball oh, yeah, win the yeah. game. You got to shoot this shot. You got to just make that seven. The cue ball come over there close to that 80 mile hit. It looks to me like you're going to natural angles to hit it. But you just got to take that chance here. You can't. You can't know, be Howard. Spinning the uh, ball left or right. Here, I'd shoot it anyway. I thought I could make the seven. I'd run into right. the eight or where uh, I'd. I wouldn't worry too much about position on the eight because I think he has a fair chance here to get position if he makes a seven. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think I'd go for this because this, uh, this is a critical shot. The match is 8-8, uh, eight, eight and uh, uh, there's a good chance that the winner of this game will win the match because uh, he'll have a one-game cushion at the end of the match. Uh, well, if you, if you do anything, you want to overcut this seven. Jimmy oh, went for I'll it and tell made you it. what, but what happens with the nine? Ooh. And uh, boy, what a great shot he made. He would have liked to miss that nine. Uh, I I didn't feature that <coughs> ball coming short of that on the past that eight like that. I thought if anything, he might go on the other side, but I thought it was going to run right into it. Well, the speed forced him short. Mm -hmm. He really hit that hard. Oh, he and, did. Uh, the reason he hit it hard was because he felt more confident uh, making the seven at that speed. Now, Jimmy uh, is facing a thin cut on the eight or a bank. I can't tell. It looks like to me he's cutting this in. This is hard. It is hard. No, he went for the bank, and he kind of went for the safe here. Yes, he did. But he don't want it to go too much further, and uh, George yeah. has some options here, but I think all of them start with banking it toward this <laughs> <laughs> lower right pocket. Uh, yeah, George makes those long, thin cuts well. If that cube, if that ball went another ball width or two over, he would have cut, cut it in. cut it in. But I'm not sure he's going to cut this one in. No, I think he better bank it. Uh, he better remember he's been in Kentucky and banked this ball. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least he has a shot. If Rimpy made the eight, he wouldn't have had no option. But uh, And I guess he is looking at kicking and playing safe. But i tell you what, Howard, I think I like the bank the best here. It doesn't yeah. mean it is, it's the best if it goes in. But <laughs> it, it, It's tough to get behind that eight where he's at. It's tough to get behind it and, uh, and play safe here. Now, I might kill the cue ball here on that rail in case I didn't make it. Oh, yeah. Because the nine's pretty close to the hole, but. Mm -hmm. do you That's it? awful close. Ooh. Oh, wow. Man, that ball didn't even hit the jaws, you know? Wow, I thought that was uh, maybe even in, and right. it didn't even uh, it didn't even threaten the pocket, huh? It didn't. It didn't even threaten the pocket. I'm telling you, uh, these tables have tightened up. Uh, the, the rails have gotten a little grabby. I think the moisture has taken over this match. I think you're right. I think this table has changed. That's uh, Stude observation on your part, Howard, but I, I think you're right. I think this uh, table's got a little tougher as the match has went along, but this is no, uh, that's wow, no automatic a shot. shot, but what a Man. great come shot uh, for Jimmy there. And uh, Ooh, good shot. he's got a nice, easy shot on the nine, and uh, Jimmy pulls ahead nine to eight in this match, and he's two games from winning, so he's, uh, if he can break and 
here, if you get a break in control of this game here, mm -hmm. that's huge, Howard. It is huge. Uh, uh, Jimmy's in a better position than George was when he was at 8-7. And uh, looked like George might take control of the match, but uh, here Jimmy is, uh, has his opportunity now to uh, get closer to closing this match out. Okay, now Jimmy's looking at the rack, and he's asking George to do something. It looks like he was pointing at the six. And, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> I don't know whether it was loose or what he's asking him to do, but he's looking it over pretty carefully. Look at Jimmy. Mm -hmm. he's Put the eye on it. it. <laughs> he's, he's awake. He's not asleep, is he, Howard? He's not asleep. <laughs> now, I notice Jimmy keeps, uh, he's not hitting, he's keeps hitting the ball a little high. Uh, yeah, he's a couple times in this match. I think he's got the white ball a little higher than he wants. Let's see what happens this time, Howard. See if he if, comes if he keep, back. Uh, if he keeps that cue ball close to his left side, I think he's... Uh, oh, wow. He hit him a little bit. Oh, he got a little time. bit of a bad kiss there, Howard. Yes, he did. Uh, ball kissed him up table. Of course, I don't think he would have ended up with the shock as eighth blocking that. But uh, mm -hmm. now he faces a big choice. Cut the one in the side. I think you have to because this may be even be a free shot. Mm, it might be, but it, it's uh, he's got a tough angle and he's on the rail. Yeah, yeah. well, it's not an easy you, shot. What you, do you do here, Would Howard? you ever consider banking this to one? Look at it. Yeah, I might. Yeah, you might consider banking it. Uh, I think uh, I'd consider either banking this ball or playing safe. I don't think I, I'd go for that cut because that kiss off, uh, that eight ball could come into play there if you look at it. It could even roll out there and ho hook you on the two or something like that. Yeah. It's, uh, I think I like the bank or the safe. And, I think one of the main things here is whatever choice you make, you want to be successful because uh, this is a critical game here. It is of course, critical. every game from here ends critical for both players. But this but, is uh, a tough safety too. How would you play safe here? Uh, you look <laughs> at thinning it on the on the right side and coming, in, or maybe banking it across over the other side. There's just not a shot there like that. I mean, there's See, a shot I think that got straight in. I think that's why I would cut this in, shoot from the cue ball's going to die against the eight, and the one's going to come down toward the three and nine. You might get a safety if you miss at the bank. He went for that bank. Wow, he liked that bank, and I'm telling you, he made a great shot because you don't figure to really get away with a safety if you miss that bank. Mm -hmm. Of course, if he overcuts it, he'll be coming down here closer to this end rail. So I guess he could get away there. But now this is a little bit, uh, this is a little tricky here. Uh, yes, it is. Do you go, it, he's it. coming back, but this is hard to keep on this side of the table. Yes, it is. And he didn't try to keep it on that side of the table, and. Uh, I might have uh, liked going, following that ball a little bit, you know, spinning around the corner. Yeah, I might have went three rails there, but mm -hmm. uh, if you hit at the speed Jimmy hit, yeah, you it doesn't nice. matter because. But he's still, he's still got to be a little cautious here. He needs a good angle to go from this five to the six here. And uh, is he going to stay underneath this, Howard? Well, it's, he's got a, a short angle on the five there, a small pocket. But now he could follow it and go around two rails around or even come straight up but the end has got to hit it a little inside i think i like going two rails up above the five and drawing back up towards the six uh but uh, if he could get on this side of the six with the five and get a good angle i like spinning out of the corner howard and trying to get at least even with the five where i have that option to play the five in the corner and follow up ah, or see. slide over uh below the side and play the six uh in that corner pocket i like that where you can kind of soft spin the three mm -hmm. in because you don't you know it's a little easier to make the three of course jimmy this is a long stretch he's even pulling out the uh, bridge right here so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't think now he you he, like coming short on this shot i like coming short because i feel more confident that i'm not going to miss the three and uh, it's not going to take a lot of power to go up for the six the worst thing that can happen you end up with a real thin cut on the five or something but boy well he got an angle i tell you what the only thing he has to be careful here he's got an easy shot on the five but the only thing you don't like about this shot or at least i don't like about it is if he uses high english he's going into that rail and i do not want to end up froze on that rail <laughs> he, could, he could force it up between the eight and the six but no he's taking the straight oh, follow man what a nice Oh, I like yeah, this. Yeah, he didn't follow it like straight. It like uh, held a little bit. You know, it he looked changed like that kind of skidded a little bit there or something and stayed. Uh, it like uh, looked like to me it. Uh, 
I would have thought that would have went through that ball mm -hmm. more, but it looked like to me it kind of uh, hopped a little or something. Well, he like uh, kind of force followed it a little bit, uh, uh, a soft force follow, so that changed that angle the ball was going down. I you think you're right. I think Jimmy changed that angle <laughs> <laughs> intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think you hit the nail on the head, Howard. Uh, and uh, okay, Jimmy Rempe's. Uh, Winning an awful important game. This game will, when he pockets the nine, will put him on the hill 10 8. And uh, both these two guys drew a brutal first round match. They, uh, they have. This uh, match here could be the finals, uh, let alone the uh, first round match of the Masters. No kidding. And uh, how does this happen? This is this is a part of Pua I don't understand. How can this be a first round match here? It's, it should I'll never be. understand how. <coughs> Guys, well, this quality—it's just amazing. Yeah, the, the seating should be better or something. Uh, these guys shouldn't meet until the third or fourth round. It shows you Poole's got a long way to go because uh, if uh, Poole had the proper seating, this would not happen. Well, uh, Jimmy's leading ten to eight, and uh, he's going to check that rack real close, and George is going to take his time racking to. And uh, Jimmy's looking to close us out now. Well, I like the action. Jimmy got on the last break. That cue ball was stopped dead in the middle, and then it got kissed back up table. But uh, Jimmy made a great opening bank on the one ball, and uh, then he made a pretty nice out. Had to shoot the three with the bridge and uh, soft spun it out of the corner, and uh, uh, Jimmy's played real solid here under the heat. Yes, he has. Uh, he came with that bank when he needed it. Yeah, that bank was a critical, and that's what's put him in the driver's seat right now. This match leading 10-8, to eight, and uh, uh, Jimmy knows that if he can make a ball here and get a shot on the one, that uh, he can win this match uh, without... Uh, he don't really want to see George Sansusi come back to the table, Howard. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He, and he needs to keep that cue ball to his left. Uh, he let it get oh, away to the right. Oh, boy. He hit it good, but it just went in that side. So uh, mm. now Jimmy gets a chance to do the same thing George has been done, sweat it out. That's right. <laughs> Take a seat and watch. Now I'm looking at this rack of balls, Howard, and it looks like to me that when you go from the five to six, you need really great position on the five ball. Yeah, but you got to get from the four to the five, too. That's the... Getting it right on from that four to that five. Now the four is right down there, but you got to get a good angle on when you start shoot the four, so you can get over on the five, so you can get to the six. That's the key. Well, you've got a couple good choices here. Do you like going across, playing the five on the side, or do you like playing pretty well close to straight in on the four, just enough angle to get off the rail and draw them back on the angle where the cue ball would be on that line where the three and five are at? Or I, I like uh, going across. Ooh, ooh, he ooh. almost went too far. I like going across shooting the five on the side. That way you got that angle just going to the side I'll rail. Tell you what, can he hit this two here? I'm going to tell you something, he got in tough. He got in real tight. I'm not sure he can. Uh, that ball really came off that rail. He went to the rail, it really came off that rail, I think. And you mentioned that, that this table's changed a little bit where mm -hmm. it's got a little damp. The cushions uh, where the ball is bouncing off the rail, a little faster clip and uh, I believe you're right, Tower. I believe this table has changed where the rails are playing a little bit quicker. Well, he's shooting at it. It's, it, it's close, I think. I think he's worried about hitting seven and five. I tell you what, that was uh, that was nicely done there. But I think now he's falling on the three. I don't know. I kind of like your choice, Howard. I like. I believe. I don't think I'd play on top of that five. No, I, I like think, going over uh, there. I think I'd go across. Of course, if you get too thin, then you're dealing with that seven a little bit. You've got to mm -hmm. be able to draw past that seven. But I like going, playing that angle where I can cut the five on the side and go all the way off the, the long rail and then end up about the first diamond on the end rail. Mm -hmm. well, but, no, uh, he... He's going to do something different. And you have to be a little careful. We noticed he almost went a little too far last time. Of course, I know George hasn't forgot that either, but... Uh, this uh you got to get just right drawing this ball like boy, he's, here. he's uh he's really got to hit this good to find the right angle oh boy nice nice he did very nice. nice and uh he can i look follow it 
he can follow it, but I look for him to draw. Well, the angle on well that draw maybe he don't have the... enough angle to bounce off this uh, right rail. He, uh, no, yeah. he's going forward, Howard. Yeah. You called it. He don't want straight in there either, frozen no, the rail. But uh, no, he's got some angle. But uh, he's all right. Now, do you come up one rail here and play the seven and uh, now if the, the lower left corner? How do you play the shot? If this, if this table's really hopping, I go one rail. If yeah. it's not hopping, I go two. And he went one. Yeah, I like what he did. Yeah, I like what he did. Okay, George Sansusi shooting seven ball in the corner and looks like he's a bit ready to win game number 19 and uh, he trails in the match 10-9, but the most important thing is he is the one at the table, Howard. Yes, that's the A number one thing. It looked like he could get closed out. Now he's in a position here to break him and, uh, and uh, have a chance to tie the game up, tie the matchup. One thing about uh, this nine ball is... Uh, at this stage of match, even though you're one game behind, when you're at the table, your opponent does not have to. You only got to run two racks, and he don't get a chance to get back up. Or. Absolutely. And it's at this caliber of play, a two-rack run is not that much. Of course, he's already run one rack. But mm -hmm. Jimmy scratched on uh, break uh, this game, uh, and uh, it looks like George is uh, asking Jimmy to... Uh, Rack him again, so uh, we're watching Jimmy and George there, and uh, yeah, they both had their difficulty racking these balls. Both have been both have been asked to re-rack several times. Okay, we're looking at the AccuStats, and we're looking at Jimmy Rempe, 891, and George Sansusi, 885, and that shows you how close this match is. I mean, six thousandths that's of a point is separating uh, these two players, so that's about as close as it gets. That is close. Well, George is going to break them. Uh, and, uh, maybe, it, oh. Uh, tell you what, he really amped up on that. Yes, he and, did. Uh, uh, he's got a difficult he's position. He's got a shot on the one, but it's a hard one. Yes, it is. He might uh, elect to shoot that down the corner and draw into that eight and scoot up there a little bit, but he's got to be careful you don't scratch doing it. And to do that, he's got to elevate, and if you remember right, yeah. <coughs> the shot that got him... No, it didn't get him in trouble, but... Uh, uh, you was thinking of that, that one. Ball he missed in the corner. He but, hit, uh, hit with the inside. This one he. But he, he ended up winning straight. that game. But, uh, yeah. But he. Uh, he might elect to roll out in the side and take the thin cut on the three. Uh, I don't know if he'd take that shot. I just. That looks I think like he's the going for the corner. Uh, yeah, he gets some separation too if you miss it. Yeah. Yeah. But. No. And the cue ball's off the rail. It's a, it looks like it's an inch off the rail or something. He, he, it's not a, uh, an easy shot, but I think he's, he's going like he likes his chances with that. And Tell you he, what, last it. time he shot at this pocket, he hit it too. When he missed the ball, he mm -hmm. hit it uh, too thick. And this time he uh, made the adjustment and he overcut it. Howard. Yes, he did. Uh, well, Ruby comes to the table here now. He can, he's got a good shot. He can make this ball and draw right up for that three. And if he falls good on that three. He's got a good chance to run out. Yeah, Close basically out. to win the match, uh, Jimmy's shooting at the one. If he makes the one and, uh, like you say, gets good position on the three, I don't think we'll see any more yards this match. Right here's a critical shot, but this is uh, not automatic hour. This is a match-winning ball for Jimmy. Yes, it is. And uh, Well, he didn't really zip it back up there. He just kind of drew it up there a little bit. I don't blame him. I think that shows you uh, why... Uh, well, when you might watch a match with these two great players, it uh, shows you their level of skill and how great they think at the table because that gave him just a... Boy, that Ooh. ball, wow. <laughs> wow, that ball might have turned a little on him because he yeah. would have been down here two more feet. And uh, now he's got to uh, stay with us, and he has to draw this back. He can't afford to stop where he's at, and this is a hard shot to control. Let's see how Jimmy does this. 
Ooh, and he got a well. This high. kills you when you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like instead of being off that extra two or three inches where the five's a hanger, he's still got to bear down on this five. It's yeah. not a give me yet. Yeah, if he just makes it, he's in good shape. But he does have to make it. Ooh, uh, he kind of he kind of lunged at that and after he hit it a little bit, then. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and you but he likes it now. All he has to do is uh, get a good angle on the eight. And uh, ooh, he's going a little further than he wants because uh, this is going to, I tell you what, this is going to create where he's going to have more distance between the cue ball and the eight than he wanted. He mm -hmm. wanted to come up a l close to straight in where he could stop and then pull the cue ball up along that rail. But now, Howard. Mm, I was going to ask you before he shot, would you have played the seven up in the corner or in the side? I think I would have played it in the side. Well, that's where he's playing it. I side. might even come all the way down the table and spin out of this corner myself. Mm -hmm. No, no, he's, oh, I like this. I yeah. like this. I can't find anything wrong with that. I like uh, Jimmy's, uh, he has played great in this match, and I like the way he's, uh, I like his thought processes at the table, at this table, but... Uh, well, you just got to follow this, and he's going to spin it two rails, you think? Yeah, two rails short is what he's trying to do. Oh, uh, he hit that ball nice. And uh, he hit her with a nice, firm stroke. And I don't know about you, Howard, but this is my favorite shot for a uh, match-winning nine yep. ball. <laughs> I would take this one. Okay, there you have it. Jimmy Rempe, George San Susi, first round of the Masters, and uh, Jimmy Rempe comes out on top. And uh, that's been fun watching this tonight. And uh, Howard, it's been a pleasure working with well, you. It's been a pleasure, uh, Nick. I enjoy uh, working with you in these matches and your knowledge. Uh, you just pick up so many nice things. Uh, you just pick up s s uh, uh, some really uh, good thoughts on the shots and the selection. It's, it's been fun. Well, it has been fun. I enjoy doing these matches, too. Okay, uh, we'll be uh, back with an interview. We're going to talk with Jimmy Rempe and uh, uh, see. I know he feels good about winning that match. Okay, uh, we just saw a great match between George Sansusi and uh, Jimmy Rempe, and uh, both players played great, but uh, Jimmy, you ended up on top 11-9, and I'd like to congratulate you. Well, thank you very much, Nick. Yep. I uh, was uh, I was really uh, impressed. I was really into the match, man. It was fun because both uh, you were playing good, George was playing good, and uh, you know, there were a lot of critical uh, decisions in that match, and I think that's what really uh, impressed me. You made a lot of uh, hard decisions, and uh, I think the bank on the one to me, that was uh, the shot that kind of put you, helped put you in the winner's circle big time. Yeah, there was a lot of shots that made the difference in that match, but uh, you as an all-around player know yourself, Nick, that, uh, I mean, it's a game of percentages, and you, and you have to take the right percentage for that particular time for your own ability at that time there's a lot goes into it and if you make those decisions right all the time it's like the juice in las vegas it's going to pay dividends in the long run and i made a couple shots that were really critical i mean uh, you know about playing the shot sometimes playing the safety and going about it the right way which which paid uh, you know dividends it wound up winning the match for me uh yeah and another shot in that match i uh, really like was uh that eight ball, when George tried to bank that eight ball, I think it was eight eight in the match oh, at yeah. the time, and uh, he missed the eight, and uh, he left you pretty yeah. tough. Uh, and uh, you came, you were rock solid on yeah. pocket and that eight. That that game went back and forth towards the end there. I mean, and, and uh, when I uh, I try to bank the eight ball cross corner, uh, and I wasn't really trying to make the eight. I was trying to hit it, but leave it on the left hand side of the pocket, not to give George the the long bank where he yeah. could bank the ball and stick the cue ball. I wanted it to where if he went for the bank, he was going to have to let the cue ball go, but I left it in a bad position. And he hit it. Well, I mean, he, he came close to the pocket, but he missed it and it came up. And then I, I come with a good shot. And uh, I was telling Pat Fleming before, that particular shot, you know, I got a system on that shot that not a lot of people know. And I'm not going to tell it right now because I give lessons and everything. But, but Irvin Lino told me a shot 20 years ago on that particular shot, especially under pressure and everything like that, and it works every time. And I really, really use it all the time in that shot. Well, it was certainly enjoyable to watch you 
play uh, that match. You played great, and uh, I'd like to congratulate you again. Uh, job well done, and uh, good luck in the rest of the Masters. Well, yeah, thank you very much, Nick. It's it's tough when you <laughs> have your first draw against a guy like George uh, Sansusi. I mean, and he's a great player. It's nice when you get a buy and get a little weak player to get used to it. It's tough to come out of the box and, and play your best pool, and, and I'm happy the way I played. So let's see what happens the rest of the tournament. Yeah, it's like how and I talk about during the match. We said, uh, you know, this could be a final match here. <laughs> and it's the first match. <laughs> I wish you was. Yeah, get my check. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this has really been a killer match. Uh, Jimmy Rippey, Jard Sansusi. It's one uh, I know uh, for those of you that uh, uh, see this match, you're going to love this one. And. Uh, from AccuStats Video, we like to uh, thank everybody, and uh, we'll be back with some more great matches this tournament. Adios.